All right. of you could sort of introduce your characters to each other. So I will be playing Sylvester or Sylvie Ashling, who is a child psychoanalyst who graduated at the young age of 12. He had a small encounter with another character in this campaign, Miss Agatha Fuckwistle, yes. for 10th grade geometry, and was the only student she could not fail because he scored 100 on every test. Mrs. Fuckwistle is an angry, child-hating geometry teacher. Uh, she used to teach um, 10th grade geometry, but she was fired, and now she's teaching 5th grade math in general, but she tries to keep it geometry because that's her strong suit. Uh, she studies an ancient form of geometry dark magic. Her current class of students she sees as uh, her worst class ever, full of upstart and rebellious little fifth graders. She's going to the toy store to get toys to burn for uh, a sacrifice to perform the ultimate classroom punishment magic. <laughs> <laughs> so is Agatha Fuckwhistle a geomancer? Lenny Baxter. He is here at the toy store to get the newest limited edition Kissy Crusaders action figures. And he's been waiting in line for 10 days and he is still the only one in line to get said toy. Quentin. Blaster even here. She's I... not even in the call! <laughs> Classic Blaster! I'll do my best to explain Blaster's character. All right, this is Quentin, no last name given. He is an old money weirdo who <laughs> spends his time globetrotting and has recently become obsessed with toys! He makes his living, at least partially, of finding factory defect toys and selling them at high, high prices to other collectors. Plenty. He also has a, uh, a cockatiel named Quinoa. Quinoa can fly around and do things. So Quinoa and Lenny are rivals because they yep. both collect toys and are both terrible people to invite to a dinner party. Quinoa and Lenny, the bird. Yes, <laughs> specifically <laughs> Quinoa. <laughs> Yeah, it's Blaster! So, Sylvester wow. Ashling, young, 12-ish, 13-ish, walks into a store at like 8.30 at night, probably past the time he should be walking alone on the streets. It's not a chain store, but it's doing pretty well for just a small business home run by some people. And it's surprisingly packed. There's a long line at the only register that has someone working at it. There's a bunch of weirdos walking around and toys are stacked as high as the shelves go, which is almost to the ceiling. Toys! I, I can't. Where oh, are the no. teddy bears? Um, See, bear. I've got this plan, because that line over there is really long, so I'm waiting at this one. Someone will probably come. I mean, you, you sure about that? I mean... I am sure. Like... <laughs> <laughs> well then, I wish you good luck with that. I hope they have the staff for this. I'm gonna go over here now. Good luck. <gasps> How much for this toy? You. Please get away from me. <laughs> Sylvester Ashling. Oh, Agatha. Funny That's meeting you. That's Mrs. Fuck whistle to you, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not your student anymore. I don't feel obliged. But if that makes you feel better, then my apologies, Mrs. Fuck whistle. What are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for teddy bears, you see, to punish my class. You, you can do that. Yes! You see, my current students are a bunch of disobedient, rebellious upstarts. They keep pulling pranks on me, and they never do their homework. So I'm going to perform the ultimate classroom punishment magic. The Vitruvian Crucifix. A dark magic <laughs> that will hoist my students into the air naked and stretch their limbs out into the positions of Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. Boys taking the square position, and girls taking the circle position. Once all students are in the air and naked, I plan to have an impossibly hard oral pop quiz. Every math student's worst fear. And for any student who gets a question wrong, I will write the correct answer on their bodies in red toxic permanent marker. You know, that breaks a lot of this. ethic codes, but uh, for the sake of asking, did you at least get their parents' permission? I don't give a shit, you see. <laughs> well, then there's a problem, Mrs. Buckwhistle. Why are you doing that? 
No, the question you should be asking is, what does that have to do with this toy store? I'm glad you asked, I'll tell you. Why, Hunter is a failing incantation for the Vitruvian Crucifix. The spell requires the following ingredients to be placed at points on its summoning sigil. Ingredient one, the preserved blood of a British boarding school kid who was hazed to death under a full moon, must be at least 150 years old. Or ingredient two, the tears of an orphan who was bullied because of a speech impediment. And ingredient three, Three teddy bears. One for each student being crucified. The bears must be set on fire and burned to a crisp as the spell is incanted. I so... happen to have the first two ingredients readily available in my kitchen <laughs> pantry. I've always had them there in mason jars, knowing they come in handy one day. The only thing I need is teddy bears. That means a trip to the toy store. Sylvie, as a part of what he usually did in her class, just fell asleep while she was explaining all this. <laughs> <laughs> Falling asleep uh, the, again, the one girl at the register who is about 11, who uh, Sylvie would recognize as Molly, another participant in the tournament, leans over the counter and shouts to the other girl bottom right, M Millie, can you please help the customer find teddy bears? I'm really busy right now. Texting, sitting on a chair near the edge of the store. You don't look busy. No, I'm, I'm really busy. You got it, Molly. Look at you. Look at you doing a good job with all the customers. Break a record. She completely doesn't move. Um. Um. So can I buy this costume or what? I mean, you're already wearing it, so sure. Okay, great. Bushido Blaster walks out. <laughs> Next. Oh, a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Quentin. Hello! How are you today, little toy girl? Um, I'm I'm a little busy right now, actually. Uh, please don't <laughs> pose on the counter She's again. not a collectible, Quentin. Leave her alone, come on. Have we, some we've talked about this. respect as a toy collector. Mr. Quentin, it's fine if you want to... Oh, he's just sliding all over. It's <laughs> fine if you want to do that. Well, if... The toy store is empty, but we have customers right now, and we shouldn't! The other girl yells from the back, It's 8.30! We close at 8.40! Go home! Oh, well, I guess I'll go home! Who closes at 8.40? <laughs> I'm still determined to wait at this other line. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Sylvie wakes up! <laughs> Gotta get the dead air out. <coughs> and, and the nut- Wait. Agatha, we're- Oh. And who are you, I guess? Since my teacher, or my ex-teacher, disappeared. Uh, Lenny sits there in his, like, a lawn chair with, like, a giant soda gulp drink, sipping a casual <laughs> um, Lounging in the toy store. Lounging in the toy. It's like, oh, you haven't heard? Tonight is the midnight release of the, uh, the Kissy Crusaders Super Spectacular Deluxe Super Edition action figure sets. I'm waiting in line for it. First in line, no cutting, please. Has the store been open for 10 days? Because Lenny hasn't it left. It sure yeah. hasn't. Leave! <laughs> <laughs> Until I get my action figures. Okay, look, okay. My dad was nice and let you come inside because it was raining. You're gonna have to go. I am going to be a paying customer as soon as the clock hits midnight, and you will treat me as such. You're not going to be a paying customer at midnight because we're not open at midnight. You will be. <laughs> I have okay. things to do. I'm sorry. Uh, you look like you work here. Uh, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. I don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Millie just leaves. I guess I'm talking to you now. What's your my name, My name is Quinted. Let me tell you about my toys. <laughs> toy tell me. number one. This toy is a collectible toy. It is blue, it is a robot shape, and it punches a red robot. It is my favorite. Yeah, I he's gonna had... go on forever if you let him, so you just wanna walk away. <laughs> I toy think number I... 2365. This toy is another red robot punching a blue bot, but it is mint condition! This is my second favorite toy. 
toy I mean, number no, 30,000. <laughs> Listen here, bird. You're gonna get right the hell off of that bee. That bee ain't done nothing to you. <laughs> Birds and the bees. <laughs> you know, Quentin, as those toys seem all surprise. cool and all. Oh, okay. Ignore what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 oh, hi. I was just about to say, how rare are those? Because I think I played with a few of those when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> Not very. <laughs> Baxter, my old <laughs> rival from the Oxford days. I mean, yeah, I guess. Hey. They are clearly <laughs> at least 40 years apart in age. <laughs> Quinn, bird. I got my eye on you, bird. So do he I. He has a name and you know it. Yeah, it's uh, it's Quentin or whatever, right? Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> that is so but I okay. know what you're up to, other Quentin. You're here to oh. cash in on my parade. Well, I won't let you. I'm first in line for that collectible toy and you're not getting it. Before Molly me. begins scraping off the chalk you're drawing on the floor. <laughs> Look what I found! Mint condition Crayola sidewalk chalk! You can't have mint condition chalk! I'm pretty sure that's the facing store property. You sure you should be doing that? Please stop. Quentin! Quentin, that's... that's... no. Quentin. Jeez, child oh. labor. Chalk oh. on the floor. Here, Molly. <laughs> Molly, it's nice to see you here. Let me help you. Oh, hi, Sylvie, right? Yeah, it's <gasps> Sylvie. It's nice to see you again here. Let's just get this chalk up first, then we could talk. Okay, sure. Well, your smiley faces are getting better, Quentin, so small steps. <laughs> Thank you, I practiced. I know, she says, <laughs> looking on the walls, which clearly have marks of Quentin's defacing. <laughs> All right, with that out of the way, Molly, I need to ask you an important question. Uh, uh -huh. I, I need to see your father. Do you know where he is? Oh, Dad? He's probably in his workshop somewhere in the back. Oh, Hang on. all right. Uh, excuse me, little girl, before you go, could you direct me to the teddy bears, please? Oh, yeah, she's, like, clearly wearing one. Um, teddy bears, I think we have them. I should know this. Millie, where are the teddy bears? Mm, don't oh, care. The last one! I <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's the last one over there. Looks like Quentin got it. Sorry, you're gonna have to come back tomorrow. We're we're actually closing up. Okay, bye. Um. <laughs> you only had one. I mean, I mean we start with like I've four. gotten some service. Hey there. You don't have any items. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> you should probably close down for now. Don't let anybody yeah, else. Oh. Trust me, I'm sure some of us would love that. Millie glares daggers. Not um, all we still of have, us. We still have two more minutes. Do you have anything you want to check out, Mr. Quentin? This bear. No, 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 no. Blaster, stop fucking drawing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just move the bear. <laughs> Oh, well, it's under the counter now. Whoops. Oops. Sorry. It's gone forever now. <laughs> Where is the bear? <laughs> we're like, we're like elbowing each other trying to get to it first. <laughs> this man wearing a cape, he looks very ridiculous, uh, walks over behind Molly. Molly, is it about time to start our little interpersonal communication class? N n not yet, Mr. Naven. We... Oh god, everything I is breaking. <laughs> Lenny types oh, up a furious Yelp review. Teddy bears disappearing. No midnight release. Old people. <laughs> One star. This pink haired person wearing a ridiculous electric green vest. She's like, Naven, can I go? Nothing's happening. You don't need a bodyguard. I suppose you're right. You can wait in the car for two hours. <gasps> the bear! <laughs> there it is! I have at least one now. Agatha, release that bear. As my good conscience lets me, you're not gonna cast dark magic with it. Besides... Look at all oh, these no. people standing on your table. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, I'm not gonna cast any dark magic yet. I still need the full set for the whole class, you see. 
This is an outrage! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me unleash my powerful ninjutsu! <laughs> Somehow I doubt you have that. Roll oh no, he does exactly like punch. this here. Don't, don't mess with them, actually. Uh, how, how, how we... Oh no! Uh, Howie, can you help? He's doing his Quentin punch. He wrote the number 100 on his fingers. The last time he punched something, his hand broke. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Ah, uh, the good old days. Listen, Molly, I'd love to help, but I'm too busy looking at this bee. <laughs> Bird, <laughs> I warned you. I warned you with all of my power. <laughs> if this bee wasn't behind you, there we go. Now it's easier to grab you. Oh. Is I didn't know pets were allowed. Goodbye, in bird. <laughs> <laughs> he he puts the bird on Quentin's shoulder and glares at it so it stays. <laughs> bird frozen in catatonic state of. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know you guys had a pet policy here. We don't. Oh. Oh. You know, for a second, I actually thought you were talking about Quentin, but you meant his bird. I'm sorry, Molly. I really need to get to the back room. I need to find your father now. Where is it? Um. Oh my God. He, he's down, down, down right. H hang on a sec. I can walk you there after, uh, after my class, I guess. So you're oh. buying this bear? Yes. How much? Um, bear price. <laughs> <laughs> what is bear we price? We take both. How many Canadian dollars? Molly, I wouldn't be so forceful with this, but I gotta tell you, do not sell that bear to that woman, or you will regret it. I'm the customer, and the customer's always right. Listen, Molly, this is a good opportunity to practice our interpersonal <laughs> communication. Naven, I, we haven't even started, but we can start. Listen. You have a conflict with two people. You can resolve it using your words. Go for it. You didn't actually give me any advice. You just told me to do the thing I was already doing. I am a good teacher. Okay, um. No, I have an idea. Look, they both want it. How about we do something simple like they rock, paper, scissors, or, you know, try to roll physical dice, or I don't know, and whoever, you know. Or just punch each other, I don't or know. Or punch each other. But whoever <laughs> wins this exchange gets to keep the bear. Fight, 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 fight. I don't know many ideas. That sounds like a bad one. So, <laughs> oh. Millie, can you make another bear? Oh my fucking God, if it'll, get, if it'll get these people out of here. She snaps her fingers and the bear duplicates. Can you make 15 more bears? Wow, I was just kidding about multiplying. Will you leave? <laughs> Will you leave if I make bears? Can I go <laughs> hang out with my friends? Once I buy them, yes. Okay, sure. She makes a pile of bears. Oh, Grace. <laughs> Supply and demand. Linny struggles to get up from his chair he's been sitting in for 10 days. <laughs> and walks over to Millie. Hey, say. That, uh, that figure that's coming out at midnight, do you think you can make, uh, like, like 20 copies of that? I guess not, all right. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm messaging Rube with something. I got to take okay. the bears. I got to hide them from my teacher. <laughs> okay, first, off, first off, like, no offense, but you kind of smell because you've been sitting in a chair for 10 days and also your butt mark is really visible on both the chair and the chair mark's really visible on your butt. So maybe think about that before talking to cute girls, but also no. And cute uh, boys. Well, I tried, I guess, still at least to get my one action figure. I'll be rich someday. He gets back in his chair. Kind of feels how gross it is and decides to just stand up instead. <laughs> <laughs> He's self-aware. Listen, Millie, are you going to do your goddamn job? Hey, Howie, are you going to buy anything? No. Then get the hell out of my store. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ashling, just where do you think you're taking all these bears? <laughs> Away from you, you crazy lady. Uh, my, right. uh, girl. T I'm going to put these in a bag. <laughs> Here you oh, go. Please don't do that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Here's the money. All of a sudden, as finally a purchase is made, you hear someone sprinting in from outside. Ah! 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 Ah, God, I tripped on a bear! Who put this here? 
He kicks the <laughs> the bee no, off. No, my bee! <laughs> it is I, Vincent Murder, and I'm here to rob the store. <laughs> uh, Lenny pulls out his cell phone and starts recording. This is going on my blog. What? Oh yeah, take all the pictures you want. They'll never see anything like this ever again! Already on it, thank you. Welcome to the Blind Up Toy Store. <laughs> oh! Well, well, I'm here to rob you, so that's step one! Oh, is there any chance I could- Hang on, I need to look at my handbook. She pulls out a handbook that is, like, clearly made by her. An event of robbing, okay. Is there any way I could persuade you to rob us in exchange for currency? Good job, Molly! <laughs> Well, I mean, Robin is more about making a scene than anything, but money is good. I'll take it. No, no, you'd be giving us the money in exchange for toys. That's how society works. That's not how Robin works! <laughs> I feel like I'm stealing- Wait, have I met you before? N no <laughs> I am Vincent Murder, and that is a completely original name that you would have never heard anywhere else. I believe it. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Sylvie, give me a d20. I'm about to guess something. Is this fucking Giovanni Putage? <laughs> Who? Giovanni I've Putage! Never... No, 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 no! I've never heard that name in my life! Who is that? What? Giovanni, is that you? Be honest. I don't... I don't have to be honest to you! I'm robbing you! Oh? I got a way to test this. Soup! What? You're just saying the word soup, that doesn't mean anything! Is your epithet soup? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Do I get a proficiency point? <laughs> no, you don't! Fuck off! <laughs> no. It's fucking Giovanni! You get plus zero proficiency. <laughs> oh! Hi, Giovanni. Do you want to buy some toys? Oh, you're robbing us. Yeah, I'm robbing you. Hey, this, is this robbery guy? is a bust. Goodness, you're all terrible when he puts his phone away. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent is just putting, pulling, like he has his knife bat still. It has a couple more knives in it. It's upgraded. <laughs> and he's just pointing right, it at all of you if you try to get close to him. He's like, no, get, no. Roll for initiative. Combat has started. We're just doing a d20. Yep. Well, <laughs> well, well. That's fitting for Lenny Baxter. He's still stuck to the chair. <laughs> he's he's standing up, but like the chair is stuck to his butt. Nobody's ready to fight anyone except <laughs> Agatha Fuck Whistle, which is not. Oh, he's always ready to fight. Now I don't know who you are, but you interrupted my purchase. Right. Uh, Howie doesn't look interested in combat. He is hurriedly replacing the stuffing that has come out of this giant bee. Are you well. hiring for someone to dress up as a bee? outside because here is my resume <laughs> you know what i'm gonna take that <laughs> all right blaster stop moving i suppose molly's also in the combat right well oh. she is not she doesn't recognize giovanni as a threat because <laughs> he's giovanni she correctly identifies giovanni as not a threat vincent murder starts oh, wait God. doesn't quentin get wild magic Yes! Oh, he does! Blaster, roll a d100! Yay! 31. Target briefly becomes a ghost! You are now a ghost! You are a ghost! <laughs> 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 is this also on your resume? Oh yeah, there it is. Turns into a ghost sometimes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Quinn's dead, whatever will I do? <laughs> All right, Vincent is going to use secret technique number one, lava grenade. <laughs> La lava and he's going to fire it at Lenny. What? <laughs> 11. All right, that's successful. Lenny, you take five damage. Uh, he throws a glob of what is definitely not hot soup at you, <laughs> and a little of it splashes on Molly. Ow. This is my bear outfit. I only have one. First step of murder. I mean... I'm not murdering anybody, that's that's a crime that is way worse than Robin. First step of Robin! Uh, You've two, soiled my kissy crusader's four, outfits! Four. You will pay! Alright, hey, now Vincent Murder's just chair. standing next to the cash register. Uh, Agatha, your turn. 
I'm gonna move. Oh. Naven will also move on Molly's turn if we get there. Three up here. And I'm gonna cast Serum Theorem. A uh, little orb of flame shoots out and hits Giovanni, making him even hotter. That does eight damage, right? Wow. Damn, yep, does eight damage. Yes. I Wait. can't even count. Ow! You have an epithet that's cheating! <laughs> you have one we too! All... We just know it. Dude. You're gaining up on me all of epithets! This isn't fair! Sylvie has one, Lenny has one. Quentin, I don't. He looks like he has one, but I don't know. You never. Do you have an epithet? I do have a great personality. <laughs> I'll take that as a no, uh, and Naven doesn't have one, so it's fair, I think. No! No, it's not fair! So, <laughs> so I never got to do this uh, beforehand, so this seems like the perfect time to test it. Rapid guy movement. The description for that is, doze off and give way to your subconscious. A random dream will overtake your person and fight for you, once per combat. Roll for it. All right. The dream is Clinton. You... Hey, Giovanni, look at this new trick. What? You're Sylvie just falling kind of... asleep! I'm not being treated with the respect I deserve! Sylvie falls asleep and a sort of like ghost of ghost a minotaur like looking Chris. thing kind of envelops him and it's got like beefy arms and big horns and shit. Hey, that looks like my original character! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us in depth about him? Oh, well, he has five arms, and he has the power to kill everyone. Giovanni is distracted. Go, Sylvie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, am I st I'm still in control. I thought I didn't have control. Uh, you got enough control. That's only on a bad roll. Okay. You tiny human. Me smash. You're like, what, can four I, feet tall? Can I, like, you said I had, like, a horn, right? Can I gore with it? <laughs> gore him with it? <laughs> you can try, I guess. Jesus. I've never used this before. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, you, you like poke him a little uh, for four damage. It goes through his cape, which as you are close now, you can see it's clearly homemade. Like he went to a Joanne Fabrics and spent a weekend making this. Poor baby. All right, uh, Quinton, start with a wild magic potion. So can you give me, I guess you rolled 32. So I won't tell you what that one is until you use it. So your turn. Should I take like minus three off my stamina since I cast? Yes. Oh, yeah. Three? Yes. yes. Stamina. Yeah, everyone yeah, can track that. that. Remember stamina. Vincent's, Vincent is remembering cheaters. <laughs> He's a robot. Yeah, Vincent already <laughs> looks. He looks. He looks real bad. He looks bad. Where do we look to see Vincent's stamina? You, uh, you don't uh, you get don't to get, see we it. We can oh. give you general descriptions if okay. you ask. You can see your ally's stamina, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't see Vincent Murders because that would be cheating. So allow you, you me can to do go in you... details about my Wait, what? I I think I, said... I heard a compliment in the distance. That's weird. I said you can do it, cute guy. Oh. Millie has terrible taste. <laughs> <laughs> Meh, not surprising. Lenny flexes. <laughs> Roll for flex. Um, there's a little muscle under there, but any muscle mass that would have been noticeable is outweighed by the chair lines still in your back. <laughs> that she human was... muscles are pitiful. Me show flex. Shit. Wow, really? Pretty good. Dude, you're like 12. The ghost around him flexes. Sylvie still looks like a twig. I am the destroyer right. of worlds, Mugat! I think you <laughs> stole my OC! How did you steal my OC? Why don't Those you tell me about out. your OC? <laughs> Naven leans over the counter pleasantly. Uh, Quentin, it is still your turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use a snake oil potion to make my resume look impressive. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> You pour pure sulfuric acid on your resume. <laughs> How he watches it dissolves. I only printed one job, copy Quentin. and deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> Do you want to move? Oh, maybe I'll get Thank out of the way of this. <laughs> All right, Lenny. Dissolves resume. Well, so I'm there's out of something ideas. that I hadn't done. Um, I forgot about my talent, which is when the campaign starts, roll two dice. You can use these save rolls whenever you like. Can I go ahead and do that now and just pocket them for later? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. 
So that's Do one it. d20 and one d20. Nice. 16 nice. and 14. Those are okay. av- pretty good rolls. Those are, those Let me are some type solid those down. 16 and 14. Okay. You can now use those whenever you like. You can't use them to replace rolls that have already been rolled, but you can just pull them out. I can just be like, here's my 16. Okay. What's the range on my end of the plastic? It's five, and then it does a two by two in whatever direction. And how many spaces can I move in a turn? You have um, five. Wow. One, two, three, four. It's the well, grease. Yeah, that grease helps me slip and slide around. Um, I come up here and I go, have at the fiend, and I throw uh, the plastic on him. <laughs> I assume you're throwing it here so you don't get Sylvie, or do you not give a shit? It's a two, oh, by, two, two. by two. Trap me with the tiny it. human. I will rip his arms off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I throw it in a spot where it'll only hit Vincent Murder. <laughs> All right, yeah, Vincent Murder is trapped. Hold on, it says access a trap for enemies and a shield for allies. So even if I did get it on, Sylvie, it would be fine, right? No, it's it's one or the other. Yeah, it's one uh, or the other. If you get them both in it, it's like, well, p- why am I Holly. always getting stuck in things? This overwhelming feeling of being a loser is it's familiar. All right, Molly walks past. Can I offer you this new model of toy? It's the thing Lenny wanted. <gasps> no! She still doesn't seem to really grasp the situation. That's all Molly does. Navin, who's hurt? He lobs an apple at Agatha for health. Let's see if he can get it to you. Uh, he sure just bonks it into the cast register, which falls on top of Giovanni. Ah! <laughs> 20 damage. All right, Giovanni, Even the people it's your I turn. didn't think were fighting are fighting me. Sorry, I'm just trying to heal. I still believe in you. Giovanni feels inspired. <laughs> Millie, are I'm you trying seriously to figure getting... out what I can do inside this thing that won't be immediate, like, cook Giovanni. Oh, yeah, that's that's a pretty bad thing for Giovanni's power set. Uh, Millie, are you seriously right now sympathizing with the person robbing your store who maimed this poor friendly bee? Yeah? <laughs> what, do you want to fight about it? I absolutely do. <laughs> yeah, well, piss off. <laughs> All right, I got this. I watched Grey's Anatomy once. I'm going to cut my way out. Oh, God. <laughs> that show is terrible, and you're terrible for watching it. I mean, I only watched it once. It wasn't even that good. That's all. Giovanni, roll for bluff about your favorite show. That's <laughs> <laughs> where he got his OC from. All right, pretty good. No, everyone believes you. <laughs> his yeah, Minotaur is an huh? OC from Grimson. <laughs> <and Anthony. laughs> yes. You notice the Minotaur's wearing a stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs> Scrubs. I have a PhD in kill! <laughs> <laughs> His name tag says Dr. Beefman. Wow, what an impressive resume. All right, Giovanni's using his knife bat to try and cut himself out. <laughs> oh yeah, he's free. Aha! Your plastic can't stop Vincent murder! But what about Giovanni <laughs> just kind of Shut up! It's only plastic. All right, you want to move? Well... <laughs> We're Giovanni's waiting. going to try and jump over the counter. Graceful, like a soupy weasel. <laughs> Naven politely applauds. There's soup Millie on the counter w- now. Ew. Millie gives a wolf whistle. Oh my god, Millie. Agatha. <laughs> She's so I'm going to use my uh, Pythagoras boots, which is a uh, move move six diagonally yep. um, as my talent and go all the way uh, oh, down here. You think you can get away that easily? And then I'm going to cast... Yeah. Uh, chalk it up. <laughs> chalk it up. All right. You throw a gross old eraser at him that looks almost as aged as you are, and it kind of like baps him on uh, the thing, like the helmet. Now that you're this close, you notice it is clearly a like those masks the pitchers wear, uh, or not the pitchers, the catchers behind a baseball thing, but it's been yeah, tricked yeah, out and it. sharpened in weird ways, so it's like pointed. Uh, it clips off that, and he gets a little in his mouth, but it doesn't actually oh, like stun him. Ugh, that was. Gross and annoying! God, oh. I feel familiar with that. <laughs> Gross and annoying. Giovanni looks longingly at the eraser, perhaps the only person who understands him in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvie, or <right>. Dr. Beefman. <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna run up here, and I'm gonna try to climb onto the table. You're looking good, Sylvester. Mm. You slam into the table and wedge yourself in halfway, breaking it. Who oh. put this table here for doctor? I forgot my name. Yeah. <laughs> Quentin. Oh, uh, I am a ghost, so I want to possess the bee to prove my prowess. Oh no. Oh my god, please oh, do my it. God. okay. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> you are a little bit blind, and you go right into Howie's hat. <laughs> oh, no. I guess there is a bee on my helmet. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Howie's hat. hat. Lenny. Um, Lenny is, um... Don't worry, I can take it slow. I'll take you all out one at a time. I, I don't think Giovanni some of you are going to be problems. Feet. He's sweating. He's... That's what you think. Lenny uh, reaches into his fanny pack and pulls out a bunch of random garbage toys and throws them at Vincent Murder. You you bonk him. Uh, that's three damage. Uh, what is this? A pony? <laughs> Lenny sweats a little bit. <laughs> I think they're Vincent all just a ponies. Bit. Vincent tries his best not to address the pony by the name he knows by heart. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it is Molly's turn. Let's see if Molly can do the thing she usually attempts to do. One, two, three, four, five, Shoot six. Shoot yeah, Giovanni! Can... Um, all right. You're really slippery, both yep. figuratively and literally. She looks at the soup stain on the counter that she now has to clean up again. I'm just going to do what I did the last time we met. She what? attempts to tap him. Um, His body goes a little numb. Not fully, though. <laughs> I've been training! Every day I've been drinking a little bit of horse tranquilizer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Naven. Hmm. Uh, he tries to... He's gonna go over here and try to console this very angry man. Man? Manatar? Whatever. Let's see how good he is at that. Oh, hush now. It's all <laughs> fine. We don't need to use our violence to solve problems. Use your words! The Manitar gains word powers! <laughs> yeah! You can now shout! That isn't part of the canon development for right. Dr. Beef Steak! Words, the muscle of the brain! I will use this muscle to crush my foes! <laughs> As Percy once told me, words are the most dangerous weapon of all. Agatha. I'm gonna move over here. All right, I'll just ignore that you skipped my turn. I guess you cheaters are allowed about, to do you're that. You're about to skip Giovanni's turn, but then Millie sort of wiggles her fingers and he gets it back. <laughs> Should I move back? Yes. Sorry. All right. Secret technique number two. I'm going to use a dash of doom. Oh, shit. That launch a unpleasant. jet of steam from behind you to launch up to nine spaces hitting anything in your way. Counts as a um, move action, does four damage to any target. Roll for it. Oh, shit. Oh, pretty good. Where are you gonna run? Just going right through all of them and landing here, I guess. You zap through. Naven, Sylvie, Lenny, and Agatha take four. Ow, tarnation! Ouch. But you can hey see there. Giovanni's looking really bad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, he tries to lean up on the on the shelf, but he, like, slips a little bit. He puts because his of the elbow in the alligator's mouth. It clamps down. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, like, a bad guy? That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty bad. Star? Oh, are you bleeding? Oh, no, that's soup. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little bit of both. Cool. <laughs> I need to get into it. <laughs> Agatha, it's your right. turn. I'm gonna move oh, down shit. here. And I'm gonna pull out my chalk holder wand. I'm gonna blast him for damage. Okay. Giovanni's looking real, real bad. He does not real care bad. for math. Oh, math was really always bad. my worst subject. Uh, hey, okay, lady, we were having a conversation and you just shot this guy, this cute guy I'm talking to, so stop. He interrupted well, my so purchase. Maybe you shouldn't go shopping like 10 minutes to closing. That's just common courtesy, I'm pretty sure. Like, you don't do that. All right, Sylvie. <laughs> All right, so am I still stuck on the table and I have to roll to get out of it? Um, you're a little stuck, but you have word powers now. <laughs> okay. Whatever that what... means. Okay, can I use my word powers? Because here's my plan. I wanted to climb up on the table and use word powers to sprint off the table, jump, and try to just jump all the way over to Vincent and pound him. Uh, you can oh use your God. word powers to either uh, buff yourself up in terms of, like, inspiring yourself or others, or you can blast a thing of air at somebody. So you could try and inspire yourself to run better. Okay, well, first <laughs> let me try to climb onto the table. Do I get up? Yeah, that's good enough with Naven's 20. Okay, I want to use the power of words to increase my running speed so I can make a running leap and jump towards Vincent. 
Okay. Sylvie's so printing Do I fucking... need to roll for words? We'll see how inspired you are. Ah! Hey, that's my number! You can't steal it! All right, you're inspired. Give me one more roll. It's going to be real hard to fail everything. You jump off, bank yeah. off of this alligator, and slam down into Giovanni. Ah. Oh my god! Dr. Beefton on call! I'm dying! <laughs> oh no. No! The combat is over. You have indeed defeated this menace. I think I still have chalk in my mouth. Do I go back to normal? You sure do. Okay. Yeah, you you wake up, you don't know what just happened. The letter I did a good S. Job. You won the battle, so you either get one proficiency or two stamina. What does proficiency want? do exactly? Proficiency is essentially a level up. As you get more proficiency, your powers get tiny little buffs, things like that. If you get more stamina, then you just get more okay. stamina and you have the ability to like do more things for longer. So Lenny, go ahead and move into whichever one you want. I'll go proficiency. Do we have any Mondays? No, everyone has enough of that. Sylvester, you now get trick shot. Your yo-yo can now hit things up to three spaces away. Nice. Lenny, you get one more. So you are at six. Oh, that's right. My proficiency um, is really low. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's doing super it. oh, well. low, dude. Quentin and Agatha, you guys both get two more stamina and also restore your health to full. Yep. Yeah, and after every fight, you get all your stamina back. Five so right, as I was, was inquiring, Miss, I saw you were about to uh, <laughs> give my axe figure to that man and I would like to purchase it now, please. There's a man dying on the floor. I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait for a few minutes. <laughs> I want to search. I'm fine. <laughs> I want to search his body. I'm not, He's not unconscious. Dead. Millie knocks you away, and she is just flat out bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was very rude. You're trying to loot you, me. <laughs> you're Giovanni Poutage. I don't really feel bad about that. Did you just call me oh. Poutage? <laughs> hey, don't insult him. He's precious. He's a cinnamon bun. Ew. Uh, uh, that's a new one. She, she lifts him up. Hey, I'm Millie. Oh, uh, I'm Gia Here. Vincent Murder. Gia Vincent Murder. <laughs> hey, can we like, can we like talk for a few minutes where these guys aren't? Because I'm tired of these guys. I fixed the B, by the way. Oh, no one's paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Mm, that is a not okay. bad looking bee. How much for the bee? Yeah, Dad, Let's get away from these losers. Good. You're talking to a criminal right now. <laughs> oh, let him ignore. Me. I got a you date um, and you never will. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, said Vincent, knowing that he's actually Sylvester from the future. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible fate. Uh, hey, Molly, I kind of, I'm in a pretty bad mood because your friends are dicks and they beat up this guy. So we're going to go hang out and uh, don't follow us. I'm going to do the thing. Don't do the thing. Do there are people here. Don't do the thing. I'm going to do the thing. I want to do the thing. So I'm going to do it. She snaps her hands and a really, really bright white light envelops you guys. And these two disappear. And you're not entirely sure immediately what happened. It doesn't look like anything especially changed, except there is now, some of the toys are kind of wiggling. Uh, the exit is blocked by a seemingly endless wall of other toys. You look down the hallway. Sure. Uh, so as you look down, all the toys sort of wiggle and waggle and some of them poof into flowers and other living things. Ah, uh, Millie, I am gonna kill her. I told her not to do this when people are here. He could have had the necklace. He could have had the necklace. He could have had a Molly. He <laughs> could have had the necklace. <laughs> what? What? The Sorry, I'm really angry. I'm angry <laughs> too. He could have had the necklace. The <laughs> necklace that Mira had. What? What necklace? She wasn't there when she gave that explanation. Short story: Mira had a necklace that stole epithet powers. Giovanni and the freaking Bushido blasters ran off with it. He could have had it and brought it to this store. We could get the necklace back. Oh, uh, okay. I guess. Um, that might be harder said than done. Uh, okay. So, We're sorry, everyone. Mil Millie. God damn it. Uh, sorry. I don't care. You can swear all you want. My hat's a ghost. <laughs> Anything's fair game. So watch guys oh yeah, uh, Plaster, you are like unghosted, by the way. Ah, uh, poops. <laughs> <laughs> this girl in the back who didn't say anything that entire fight and seemed to not give a shit walks over. Did Millie just use her epithet, dear? She 
yeah. Uh. Oh, was that what that was? Crap. Can we leave? We need to leave. He walks over here and sees this door, which used to be a door, but is now an endless chasm of toys. I'm going for it. He rushes in. <laughs> nope. Nope. There is no exit. There is only toys and no oxygen. Toys! <laughs> this is good. That means they can't leave, right? Molly, what did your, what did, what did that girl do with Giovanni? Okay, so my sister and I both have epithets, and mine, I don't know if you remember, it like lets me tone down sound and stuff and tone down things. Millie's is the opposite. Her, her epithets augment. She can make anything bigger or more powerful or bring things in your imagination to life. And she always does this when she's mad at me and she makes things into little wonderlands and I have to go through them and I'm gonna yell at her. I'm gonna yell at her and I don't yell much. So that's a big deal for me. Can that I seems yell to be too? a big deal. That yeah. sounds like the best power ever, actually, Lenny. Kind of mesmerized at all the toys. These could all be mine. I could have my own toy kingdom. <laughs> it would be perfect. <laughs> it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like we'll be having our interpersonal communication class anytime soon, does it? Ooh, even better. Interpersonal communication field trip. What now? <laughs> yeah, we can go, and instead of fighting people, we can use our words to solve problems. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. Hello, my name is Navin Nook Nook. I'm the head of the Toilet Apples Corporation. You? I also do. <laughs> yes. You want a toilet apple? He pulls out a toilet apple from his cape. It's still wet. Ew. Yes. He takes it. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's really tasty. Oh, well, I'm saving it yeah, for that's later. The toilet apple guarantee. All right, he gives you another one after that taste test slice. Okay. You were a big help no at the regional below, as much I as I don't want yes. to admit it. I'm surprised so many people actually watched it. That's how Molly and I met, you see, because we were both the sponsors. I noticed she had some trouble speaking in front of a large crowd, even though the crowd was empty. There were really only like five people there because it was live streamed. So I decided to give my services and invite her to my interpersonal communication classes. Everyone introduce yourself. Um. Quentin. Should I? <laughs> good. A plus. Positive reinforcement is a good learning mechanism. Yay. Yay! Lenny shouts from the corridor. Lenny Baxter, expert toy collector, or whatever. <laughs> uh, Very interesting. I'm Howie Honeyglow. I'm a builder. I build things. I was I don't have a, a very tiny, like, looks about Molly and Sylvie's age girl, uh, walks out. I'm Fenica, and I am a member of the prestigious. We told you not to include that, remember? Act like a normal person. My name is Finica. You may call me Feeny. She is wearing a massive floofy outfit and has a parasol, even though she's indoors. Well, that's about everyone in our party. And you are, oh, Sylvester Ashling. Already know you, saw you, have read your work. Wonderful. I'm Mrs. Fuckwhistle. I'm a teacher. A... And that's all you need to know. <laughs> well, a teacher. So am I. Hello, colleague. He outstretches his hand. Slap. <gasps> uh, like shake Slap like it. one pinky. <laughs> Ah, the secret teacher code. I see you're more than just an ordinary teacher. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 so you could say that, I suppose. Um, mister, mm -hmm. can I interject? Yes. You read my you read my paper, right? And you I changed it to how it was about regional below and Mira having this necklace that steals epithet powers and how that's kind of mm -hmm. important. So uh that's very strongly worded. Yeah, the the person who stole it right after Mira is kind of probably still in here, and I would really like it if it wasn't in the hands of a criminal, so I would like it if we all, you know, band together and find that criminal and take the necklace. Lenny kind of perks up. Wait, okay, so necklace that steals epithets. Like, that, okay, I'll believe that, but what makes you think he even has it? Like, wouldn't he just use it on us as soon as you showed up? What, doesn't he seem like a capable individual? You can't tell if that's a joke or not. Naven's face never changes. <laughs> Lenny, like, puts up a finger to say something, but he's like, ah, no, never mind. Look, for ah, all of us who- was, Were you offering the secret collector handshake? 
Pinky is teacher. Middle finger is collector. <laughs> he shakes it. Uh, it also means peace among worlds in certain circles, and other things in other circles. Never use it, Molly. <laughs> Lenny gets that reference. <laughs> and nods appreciatingly like, mm, not bad. Anyway, uh, I've been in one of Millie's little things before. Yeah, how he comes here, we, we hang out. We hang out. Uh, <laughs> she got mad wow. at me once because I called her a long string of random nouns and then an expletive. So she got angry at me, and uh, I had to deal with that. So you guys can just wait here. I'm gonna deal with this. Hang on. Puts the bee back up here. Then like looks a longing glance at it while he walks away. Be back. Isn't soon. this the he's... part where we like team up and save the? Okay, he's gone. Team up? No, I like that idea because there's a dangerous criminal, like I've been saying. You know, um, if yeah. I had a necklace like that, I might be able to stop any future students like Mr. Ashling over there. Would you uh, like to come yeah. with us, Quentin? Actually, okay. I think we might need as many people as we can. I kind of have a sense for this now. I don't Three think best Howie will be- friends on an adventure. <laughs> I'll help <laughs> on Quentin, one Quentin, Quentin wraps his arm around Molly's. There's a weird height difference. Uh, <laughs> Molly does the same with Sylvie because she's not sure what to do. Naven walks over here and takes Quentin's other one. Friends! <laughs> friends! Um, friends. Friends. I'll help on one <laughs> condition. Lenny kind of tries to, like, clean his hands off on his disgusting shirt and, like, reaches it out as, like, a handshake, like, to make a deal. I'll help if you give me the toy I want for free. Okay. All right, you got a deal, he shakes. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's yeah, so I don't think Howie's going to be enough for this one because uh, this one's really big. We're going to need a lot of people. There's going to be things in there. Finica, you want to come? Oh, no, dearie. I'll just stay at the door and text you whenever uh, whenever this goes away. I don't have anything better to do. Finica, you should really come with us and learn to talk to people. I'm good. I'm good. She takes Lenny's chair, moves it over here, wipes it down, and sits down, waiting. Okay. Is your sister Looks really like that powerful, Molly? She's really strong. Then you're going to have to trust me when I do this, because this might help us get an edge, oh, or at least gosh. make me stronger. I'm going to psychoanalyze Dude, what? Molly. What are you... I could just tell you. <laughs> no, if I guess it. Well. I told I, you her epithet. No, it's augment. No, yours. If I guess epithets, I could get you. You know mine. It's dumb. It's dumb. Your epithet is dumb? That's not a good word. <laughs> what is an epithet? <laughs> oh, Quentin, an epithet is a very... Pa he begins explaining it sincerely. Oh, well, my mistake. I kind of forgot we exchanged them, or you told me. Naven, do you have one? I need to guess it. Oh, no, I don't. Um, give me a Give me a roll, Sylvie. Okie dokie. Stop stealing my name. Um, no, he doesn't have one. Usually there's kind of like an aura around people who have one. Even Quentin has one, though he doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> Naven's aura doesn't seem Mundy or Epithet. Something else, huh? Toilet apple. Mm -hmm. Toilet, toilet apple. It's toilet <laughs> apple. You notice a zipper on Naven's back, unzip it, and he just pours into apples. Wait, wait, before we go. I've seen enough anime to know how this works. So if you guys recall, like, from, like, one of the first episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! When they, like, draw the stuff on each other's hands. The friendship and circle, yeah. The friendship circle. Oh, yeah. so no. Len Lenny pulls out a Sharpie and, like, does it on his hand and then grabs everyone else's hands and does it on theirs. Um, what, what, what are you having? Um, yeah, he pulls Agatha over and they all do it. It's like, this is our what? new friendship circle. Sorry for the grace, I haven't bathed in days. But, um, <clears throat> whenever there's trouble, we can look at these and remember that we have our friends nearby. I would also like to be a part of the friendship circle. <laughs> I will drop. be home base, as they call it. Venture, this is going on my blog. Oh my god. Well, back to maxing and relaxing. Or doing my job, whichever one. Oh, yeah, one more no. thing. Um, perhaps you noticed how he told me, uh, something that I think he wanted to keep private, but I wanted to surprise him. So, this is a friendly bee. There are many of them. They are tiny, and they fall in cracks. She's gonna be meta for a second. They'll be hidden around, I assume. Yeah, it always happens. Millie usually makes them sentient. 
usually they don't have strange men inside of them. She looks quizzically at Quentin. You don't but yeah, understand. If you ever... This is my dream. <laughs> uh, as you say that, this bee sort of shimmies and shakes. Hello, friends. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, the toys will be alive soon. We need to go. I'm okay. going to come with you. He pops in. Who wants to take this friendly bee? Me? I'll do it. I'll take it. Uh, Lenny, said, Lenny said it first. Yeah. Lenny, Lenny gets said the it friendly most bee. aggressively. Uh, you have collected a friendly bee. Yeah. Um, how he collects those, though he won't admit it, and he'll say he's doing it for a friend. But if you give him those, he gives you these little stamina pins. They're quite helpful. I only have 12 stamina. I really need more stamina. Anyway, I'll be here. Not dying. Oh, with okay, this robot. Bye. I yeah, sure so hope this doesn't come basically, if you find a friendly bee and then you find Howie and give it to him, he'll give you more max stamina. So uh, be on the lookout for bee. friendly bees. Yeah, so oh. I'm really sorry this is happening. I want to explore um, this flower pot. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you, you can see it. There's yeah. a, it's a friendly bee. I'm going to take the bee. Sylvie gets right. a friendly bee. <laughs> Sylvie takes the bee. <laughs> you walk up to a ridiculously like pretty gate that looks like it's made out of toy blocks. Toys! You guys going to go through it? Yes. Uh, is there okay. anything we should know about this, Molly? Who cares? Um, <laughs> it's diff I agree. It's, diff <laughs> it's different every time. So well, I don't really have any advice. Usually they're non-lethal. Usually. You guys end up in a place. Mm. Howie's a toy! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> you got me. My secret unzips apples. Okay. Toys! Oh, yeah. Toys! All right, you guys walk into uh, a Quentin whole area. jumps into the, land, the river. Toy awesome. river! Everything kind of looks like it's made of plastic, but also smells and, like, sort of feels a little bit real. Uh, you can see there is a large, large block fortress made of uh, just toys and business. As Quentin business. attempts to cross the up drawbridge and jumps right into the water. Quentin, Holy, roll, this for is swim. roll for swim. Roll for swim. You need you to know it. if you know how to swim. You know how to swim. Yeah, it's you not know. graceful, but you know. I didn't yeah, you, you... drown. <laughs> Yeah, you could have. <laughs> hey there, guy. This thing walks over to you and swims over. Um, it is a large hippopotamus that looks like an off-brand Hungry Hungry Hippo. Yeah, I'm the Picky Picky Pachyderm Green member. What are you doing in my moat? I'm swimming. Toys, you're a toy. That guy's a toy. I might be a toy. Toys, toys, <laughs> toys. <laughs> You seem like a jovial fellow. How about we swim together? They swim. He seems edgy, but not doing it very well. Before you can say or do anything, a giant baseball crashes into the ground. Whoa. You look up and in the sky is a massive, edgy, pointy, black, yellow, and blood red flagship. And you hear a voice over an intercom. Hello, says clearly Millie. Oh, I missed. Well, it's just a warning shot. Yeah, what she shot. said, a warning shot. Giovanni sweats. You can hear it <laughs> just from miles away. Like an anime so, sound effect. Anime, like, like hear us? How are you supposed to even respond to that? Oh, we can hear you. I've got powers that can pretty much do anything. Every like third object has like an intercom system on it. I kind of didn't want you around because like you're all jerks. But um, my new hubby Bumble over here kind of wanted someone to menace because he's got to be a villain. So cool. She like baps him a little bit. So uh, we're up here in, what did you name the ship? The SS Murder. Oh my God. <laughs> so cool. So like we're up here, you have to get up here. Or, I don't know, and then we'll, like, defeat you? But you have to get through our, what did you, you call them, minions? Oh my god, I'm so- Minions, I'm just, yeah! Cool, all right. Well, we'll be up here and maybe shooting you a little bit sometimes, because, like, that's what we do now, because we're, like, a husband and wife villain team or whatever. Awesome, okay, bye! bye. Wait, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's gonna Good job, you know what? You found a bee. Gonna... You own that bee. Good bee. Eats bee. <laughs> you know, gonna Are you gonna eat the bee? People. Eat the bee! She rolled a 12 to oh. eat the bee. Hey there, Fritlo! You ate the bee. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
Uh, you see a little ahead of you, Howie is shouting up to like a little Harlequin doll. Listen, I just need to go through. I'm trying to use my words like Nathan said through gritted teeth. Please let me through so I can talk to Millie. I can't White let knuckle. you do that. Nobody can get through me to go to Mistress Millie and Great Commander Giovanni. I mean, Vincent Murder. Hold on, hold on. I got this. I'm now. a toy expert. I know how to talk to toys. Let me, let me <laughs> <clears throat> Could we please go through? No. Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I want to talk One to of the, the so doll over here. Hello. Hi, so uh, you do you follow this Millie person too? Oh, yes, Mistress Millie made me alive. Oh, well, that was very nice of her. And uh, we actually have some business and really would like to talk to her. You think you could help us uh, get to her? I'd really like to ask her a few Ooh. questions. She is through the castle. Will you help us get over to the castle, please? Hang on, I will help. Just it waddles over. This thing's been alive for 20 minutes. <laughs> Hello! Hello, citizen of Toy Land. How can I help you? We need to go through the castle. I'm afraid I will have to talk to my superior officer. He walks over to this guy. Excuse me, non-toy citizen. Hello! Hello! Do you need something? <laughs> I do! We need to get through the castle. Hold on, allow me to talk to my superior office. This continues. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Gotta change a plan. The order man. has come back. You can not go through. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and continue negotiating. He cracks his knuckles. Wow, I can do that too. Clickety-clack, I am made of wood. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. You guys look for a way to lower this thing. I'll be having words. Oh, hang on a minute. I happen to smell some friendly bees on some oh. of you. And bacon grease on Lenny. Oh, but, uh, yeah, I have a bee. Would you like it? I heard you give out stamina pins for these. Yeah, I have a cousin who likes these. Not, not that I, a man of business and work, would ever have time for bee-related leisure. <laughs> Uh, here you go. He gives you a pin, and he gives Lenny a pin. Plus one max Just one stamina. more stamina. Okay. Cool. 36! Ah, those were the two party members that really needed it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got no... You can, ex you can freely exchange here. friendly bees as well. Um, Howie, you mind if I, uh, ask you for a favor? Uh-huh. Can I psychoanalyze you? Pardon me? It's just bees jumping it's, over. It's not going to hurt, I promise you. Like, you know how people go to the therapist? I'll, I'm giving you, like, a free session here. I just want to be nice. All right. Be nice? What do I do? All right. Uh, you get a proficiency point for that. What are nice. you fishing for? I wanted to get a clue for his epithet so I could guess He it. sure is a Mundy. Oh, well, I clearly could tell. You find 100% Howie is a Monday. You do still get one proficiency point, though, because you yeah, rolled I'll a 20. I'll give you a one. I see. Uh, you, that is a 20. Howie, for his entire life, ever since he was a kid, has been in and out of pretty good jobs. When he was really young, he grew up in a shitty slum and kind of just worked his way up physically it's because he's really, really fast. Feet. In a sort of Saitama kind of way, he just, that's the only thing he did. And he just tried to work really hard and now makes a lot of money doing big construction jobs with small crews, usually giving a little bit of that money back to the community with the promise of get some fucking jobs. He really <laughs> likes bees. Wow, There's no cool. weird psychological reason. He just likes how they work and he respects bees and ants more than at least half the population. Because they do their fucking job. I yeah, way I'm to gonna... fucking eat that bee, Plaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. a bird, I can't help it. He will remember that. All I see from you, Howie, is that you're a really strong worker and probably somebody I would like to be around. So let me compliment you so of being very, very, very good at your job. You said the word B twice in that analysis. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I he thought... seemed like a pretty cool guy. He gives a thumbs up. I thought you would does. be excited about how much I would be saying that. You know what? I know you're doing it for me. I'm still enjoying it. Anyway, 
Let me in. Cha cha cha. Let me in. It's not working. <laughs> Which way should we go? Off the go. beaten path or on the beaten path? Well, uh, I'm gonna the go. beaten path. You're, oh, right. you're going to the left. All right. Um, I am. Before Lenny leaves Howie, he takes his hand and draws the friendship mark on it, gives him a thumbs up, and follows the rest of the gang. He also doodles in a cute looking bee as best as he can. Uh, roll for a cute looking bee. I will. It's just a bee with anime. Eyes. But up, but! Oh, man, that is a kawaii. It's a good bee. Boy, oh boy. You don't tell most people this, but you're kind of working on this manga. Oh my God. <laughs> About bees? <laughs> Whenever you guys were done, I'm going to check out what these two were doing. You walk up to a teddy bear and what looks like a Furby. Hello, I'm a... looking at these flowers. Hi there. So uh, can I ask you two a quick question? Who they're basically is... infants. <laughs> they're minions. They're infants, no, they're... basically. They're, they're... They've been alive for like 20 minutes tops. Oh, well, sorry to bother you guys. I hope you enjoy the flowers. They're very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> so, just for reference, um, so my power, like, directly counteracts Millie's, but, like, not on this big a scale. So I can do stuff like this. She taps the flowers, and they, like, wither into little, like, Playmobil flowers again. Because I can sort of dumb down epithets and things, but, like, this is really big. I'm going to have to actually get to Millie to stop this. Quinella is choking on the butterfly. The only person who would care is currently taking a swim in a fucking boat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Lenny, Lenny picks up the... Can he grab those Playmobil flowers or whatever? He adds them to his, like, fanny pack. For, like, his... <laughs> yep. Cool. Sure. Can I reach under this bridge here? Oh, gosh. Uh, um, yeah. So uh, get the fuck over here. Agatha <laughs> finds a friendly bee. Hello there. Oh, what? Nice to meet you. I'm just gonna grab you and stuff you in my shirt here. Finally, the dream! He goes into your shirt. The friendly bee is incredibly fuzzy and pleasant. Oh, oh. It has no stinger. This, this bird is dying. Oh my goodness! Ah. My good sir! This bird is choking! Ah! Conflict! My first conflict! Allow me to resolve conflict! <laughs> birdie! Birdie! Are you okay? <laughs> this is legally required before performing CPR. Or so I have read. Uh, Lenny attempts to give the bird a bird CPR. He doesn't do <laughs> Whoa, I better push this butterfly out of the neck, and you push down the bird's neck. <laughs> <laughs> Will I try? <laughs> Uh, quinoa, take five damage. Or <laughs> I will assist. <laughs> well, I didn't read the manual, so I will do my best to attempt to do what you did. He does it worse, so it does less damage. Take another three. Oh, oh my I god. Can't. Look, I'll help. <laughs> no, hang on. I run an Apple Corporation. I'm well versed in this. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to hang on! He doesn't take more damage, it can barely get worse. Here. <laughs> he, he opens his mouth and reaches in and pulls out the butterfly. One, two, three. One, two, three. Saved. <laughs> Is the bird okay? He looks at the bird. It's what a train great. wreck! <laughs> See, I would have I would have used my... Oh, he's landed on my head and making my mop top a nest. I deserve this for not getting a haircut. Let us go on a walk, bird. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hey, your, your, your name's Howie, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, here, I got this for you. Pulls out the Oh. Bee. Thank you. I certainly don't have a box of these next to my bed. Here you go. He gives you a stamina pen and takes the bee. Thank God, Agatha really needs more stamina. Guys, it's really I, well I can sure use this, head. thanks. I did a good job. He watches the butterfly. All right, you guys continue. All right. I'm just going to follow you guys. Oh, food, a picnic. May we attend? Oh boy, I'm starved. I've been eating potato chips for the past 10 days. Why eat potato <laughs> chips when you can have apples? He takes out <laughs> multicolored toilet apples. Uh, Not when like he takes a green one and starts to eat it. If he's All right, you feel a lot better. Ugh, nutrition. Yeah, that's pretty important, <laughs> I guess. You feel huh? like you've eaten something healthy for the first His time in ten there. days. Uh, oh. Lenny looks, is this food like real food or is it like plastic food? It's real right now. 
Yeah, right now uh, it Lenny looks Lenny reaches right. down carefully as if to grab it, but like waiting to see if the bears react. Go ahead! Oh, cool. He picks up this banana and starts eating it. is caring! He picks up this banana here and starts eating it. Mmm, potassium. You you just gonna eat it? Yeah, I'm just gonna eat it. All right. It's a, it's a really good banana. Everything in this world is really pleasant, if a little saturated. Hmm. Hmm. Martian Sylvia, somehow you... found a bee! <laughs> Man. Hi there, little bee. Would you like to come? Hey! Oh my well, God. give me a minute. I gotta pollinate these flowers. A butt wiggle, a butt wiggle. All right, the hippo's looking at Quinn and like, Oh, yo, what's up? What are you doing swimming around me? Toys! He gives him a toy <laughs> huggle. Oh, thanks. He eats it. <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> My name is Quentin. Toys! Now, Quentin, we mustn't bother the local wildlife. Unless we've been properly introduced. Hello, I'm Navin. Hey, yo, I'm Orange. What a wonderful name. Uh, Blushies. so <laughs> it's orange. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit bashful in these situations, which is good because I've taken many interpersonal communication classes and can get past it. He's looking directly at Molly. <laughs> Can't hear you. Eating with bears. Bears are nice. Are you? Hey, you guess. Bird ate all of our food. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you said sharing is caring. Don't back on on it now. <laughs> now, Quinoa, am I going to have to teach you a lesson about sharing? Uh, sharing Why did you say it hard. like that? <laughs> because he looks at you menacingly. <laughs> when he takes he one of the biggest step back. They're like all black. <laughs> Naven hasn't opened his eyes once. It was like red. Uh, like Brock from Pokemon, but that means he has beady eyeballs. <laughs> Gross. Yes, exactly like Brock, except a little bit less of a lech. Hmm, yeah, he's pretty gross. <laughs> Says Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm about done pollinating. Would you like to come with me? Or me? Sure! Ooh, so Please, many friends to choose. Go for a swim? <laughs> Ooh! That man has a hat with fishing hooks on it. I am sold. <laughs> <laughs> he goes for Quinn. Damn it! I was sure that like. Thank you very me. much for allowing us to attend your picnic. I hope we'll be able to again sometime. Here, have some apples. Oh gosh, thanks. Naven, where are you keeping all those? A girl has her secrets. You're pretty sure Naven's a boy. Lenny lifts a finger to say something, but decides not to. Quinn keeps swimming down the river. Uh, all right. You Hang on, tie. then. I hope you reveal it and there's just a large shark immediately. <laughs> oh my god. That, it's, <laughs> it's pretty much... It's just You mo. find the ocean! I think we lost Quentin. Hey, he'll pop back oh. up. He just does that. I run into the floor. Yeah. He's, he's one a, of our he's best customers. But he tends to just get lost in the store. Sometimes you'll see him come in on a Tuesday, and he'll leave on a Sunday, and he won't have bought anything. But I haven't- I don't know where he'll be. Quentin continues what? swimming out into the ocean. Gimme a roll, Quentin. Oh, oh my god. Could've gone worse. Um, you, you are swimming, you're running out of energy. There is nothing on the other side of that ocean. There's a lily pad, well, can I rest? Well, actually, <laughs> you can try. Roll for become yeah. frog. You don't <laughs> become a frog. <laughs> Curse Check your host. As you attempt to become a frog, there are actually some frogs on this map. There he is. Frog toy! I am no toy. I am a frog. Friend. A wise frog who looks over the ocean. Hello, Quentin. I befriend the frog. <laughs> you immediately befriend the frog with your passive ability to talk to animals. Or think I can. <laughs> At least you think you can. The frog seems to be talking to you. Past this way is the ocean. If you look out over there, you can see very, very far in the distance is a sort of like black dragon roost island looking pillar with something green and sparkling on it. It looks islands away. Eldorado! That is the, crystal... <laughs> that is the crystal palace, Quinton. It is impossible to swim across the sea. You must find a way across through the block tower. The first step, as with everything, 
is to believe in yourself. He kisses ah. you and disappears. <laughs> Aww. Roll for frog friendship. You both kiss each other. <laughs> it's not very good. You and the frog make out. <laughs> <laughs> the frog we'll doesn't do much better on account that he's a frog, but you appreciate the gesture. Me to all back at the B plot. Well, did someone say B? You guys, you gotta stop saying B. I'm negotiating with Moppet up there. Not very well, but every time you say B, I go into a trance. B. It's hard to take him seriously when every five seconds he's in a trance. Look, I'm trying to be serious here, but B. <laughs> Sorry, we'll be better about doing that. B. <laughs> you see a cute little town also made of blocks. And a fuzzbo. You hear from the intercoms that surround the world. Ah, a fuzzbo. <laughs> the worst toy ever. Why did you animate these? I kind of think they're cute. Uh, Giovanni is like terrified of Discord these Sounds up there. <gasps> Does that imply we're married? Yay! You hear what? sparkles before the mic cuts out again. <laughs> I wish to retract that statement. Too late, you we're know? married. You know, even though they're terrible, it's kind of sweet in a, like a weird, gross kind of way. I mean, they're kind of cutely dumb if it wasn't for the fact one of them was a criminal. Yeah, and they trapped us in this really amazing... Actually, I don't really mind. This is pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Lenny I'm is telling, content with life now. I'm telling you right now, it's really hard for me to resist my 12-year-old urges to play with toys. Hey, hey, you listen. Never yeah? give up on playing with toys. He, he gives you, like, that, like, finger thing where he points at his eyes and then his eyes. You listen. Never let go of your childhood. Not ever. Lenny, yeah, would you like to be sister. my sixth friend? Yes, <laughs> you seem like a pretty cool guy. And you seem to be on board with trying to stop these two, and that's all I could ask for. Yep, just, uh, you know, just doing, just doing whatever. You seem really vengeful, like, in general. I, uh... You know when you have, like, a superhero and they just crush your dreams? That was Mira. And Geofunny's kind of part of that, as so long as I think he has the necklace. Oh, so you're like Syndrome from The Incredibles. <laughs> you know? That is the best superhero that. movie. Like, come on, let's be honest. It was a pretty good movie. It's pretty good. Know. It is a pretty good movie. It is a pretty good movie. Squawk! That was a pretty good movie! But you know what movie copied it? <laughs> Iron Man 3. Like, isn't that really weird that it's the same movie, but Iron Man? It appears Czar Lord Murder accidentally fired on our town. Many are alive, but some might not be. You know, is, I kind of Is there idea. someone stuck under this baseball? No. <laughs> okay. No, well, he I didn't the look. The Wicked Witch of the West reveals Agatha under baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Molly? Molly, I have something I want you to test. Uh-huh. You said your powers could counteract your sisters, right? Mm-hmm. Can you use it on the baseball? Uh, yeah, I can try. I got kind of tired pretty quickly, but sure. The I'm baseball turns into a regular baseball. Hey, stop messing with my giant baseballs! Oh, you don't like that, Giovanni. Why don't you come down here and do something about it? Nah! <laughs> Are you gonna take that, hun? I'm going to take it and store it for later to power up my rage. You're such a good strategist. I love this. <laughs> Millie, you have bad taste in boys. Hey, Molly, shut up. <laughs> Intercom cuts out. Roll for talks to frog. Plaster <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the living bee plot. <laughs> where's Quinn? Quinn's playing his own game. Hello again, friend. It appears to be the same frog. <laughs> he just says various incarnations. Hello, frog! Is have you learned frog? the lessons I have taught you? Do you believe in yourself? Yes! Roll for believe in myself. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Here is your good job kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same kiss. <laughs> this feeling's familiar. You know, kind of like our movies plot, you remember how uh, some person always goes away but comes back at the end with some really big secret weapon or helpful hints or something like that? Maybe he, that's he, our Quinton. Maybe, yeah. I mean, probably not. I've, I've run into him before, but yeah, you know, yeah. miracles happen. Uh, hey, Sylvie, I know you like psychoanalyze people and you've got like a degree. Yeah. I feel like you might not want to do that to Quentin. 
<laughs> I feel like he's got a lot of stuff to work it's out. It's just a monkey, like, banging symbols together. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monkey banging typewriters together. God. Welcome, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, to the first ever, um, the, 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 the robot fight. Because it's, it's here, and we're here for the first time ever. So everything's, everything's first. Good job, yay, on the announcer. Lenny so, pulls out his phone to record the fight. Ooh, this is going to be good. This is the punchy pals. They're gonna start punching. I'm they, gonna they punch you. Intense. I'm gonna punch you more. They, they don't move though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. Looks like these guys got some levers on the back. Oh, I don't. I don't really know how this works. So, uh, well, it's a good staring contest though. The audience goes, "Yay!" <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm a toy expert. I got this. <laughs> yeah. You, you can with his expertise he... of rock'em sock'em robots when you need him. Oh, so Quentin, true. Do you, yeah. you want to just teleport over there? First and. 2,365th favorite toys. Quentin, hearing the telltale click of the robots, sprints <laughs> over. the other side of the map, freestyle. <laughs> he sprints through the one. He does that, like, thing that, like, Sonic the Hedgehog can do when he's running fast enough where he just <laughs> runs on Jesus. the water. Or what Dash does in The Incredibles. It looks like we need people to control our punches. Roll for punchy pal fight. Oh, Roll for punchy I, I'm pal fight. punches. <laughs> I am gonna go Shit. with my 16 on this one, actually. <laughs> oh, <you're> just... <laughs> and Lenny just delivers a solid right hook and pops this thing's head up. I am the master oh, toy the... collector! Here's somehow. the prize, it's a proficiency point, here you go. Man, I really need those. You have seven right, now, Lenny. which means you unlock something! Oh my god, thank Ooh, you. Ooh, you get this ability. Oh boy, oh boy. One man's trash. You can now throw items from your fanny pack that heal instead of doing damage. You don't want them, but other people might enjoy them. Heals for three. Um, awesome. Is that a once per combat? Uh, and that's just anytime. No, that's just a regular thing that doesn't cost anything. Yeah, well, that's just uh, uh, in exchange it's, for your It's action. not an anytime though. Okay. It's basically what uh, Navin's been doing with apples. I'm gonna pee I'm really. Well, I, I'll, I'll hang on. We could yeah, cut to commercial with, uh, you know, Lenny. All right, Dan. you want to cut to? I, I'll be like 20 seconds. I'll be right back. 20 second commercial. Hi, oh, I'm Lenny Baxter, and my life was going pretty bad until I had toilet apples. <laughs> they gave me the nutrition I needed after eating 10 days worth of potato chips. I choked on a toilet apple once. Get, get out of here. You're not in this commercial. Oh, my phone's ringing. It's Dad! Dad, not now! I'm in the middle of ruling over people. Well, now Mom's calling too. What did you do? No, no, no. Yes! Hey Giovanni's no, mom, no. how disappointed are you in your son? She can't hear you! Put her on the I could make it so she can hear you. you. Stop, oh, stop! Can I, can I meet your mom? I think it's time, I think we're there. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should all meet his mom. Show her the SS murder. She'll be so proud. You're technically an admiral. <laughs> That's fair, I am technically Admiral Captain Supreme. Okay, I've got her on speaker. Who is this? <laughs> uh, well, don't just leave me hanging here! Wait, you made me put her on speaker! Hi, hello. Oh. Uh, Your son's not being very nice. He's shooting baseballs at us. Um, my name is Sylvester hello, Ashling. I just think I should introduce myself. You seem like a very nice lady. What are you selling? <laughs> oh, nothing. I just wanted to ask, is Giovanni his real name? Yeah, it's his real name. What did he do? <laughs> Is he in trouble? Did he get caught looking at girls through the peephole in school? Shut again? up! Oh, come on! You're so enterprising! <laughs> Is that a girl? Giovanni Potage! You talk to your mother, who is that? <laughs> Don't blow this for me, Mom! I think she might... She might like me! It's weird! No one likes you! <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's I a like smart you. person! Giovanni throws his phone off the edge of the SS murder. It just goes and plops down into the ocean. Yeah, you can it always see Quint. the SS murder. It's gloomy. Quentin's gonna go fish for it! <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni, did you pay a nice young lady to pretend you had a girlfriend again? I'm oh. not impressed! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this the nice young girl? It's Giovanni, you can do better. She sounds like an old man. <laughs> Women shouldn't sound like old men, Giovanni. <laughs> it's like Grandma Drunk Boss. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. for pretty girl blush. Hang on, I'm gonna call your father. No, he's not here. I'll call his brother. I'm gonna call his brother. Uncle Fed 
Vercini, get over here! <laughs> hey, Vercini time! <laughs> I'm on my way! Click. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was amazing. All right, let's continue. Hey, Mr. Furby, can I compete in the competition? Nope. Hmm. The pink one is just broken now. He oh, was inside that... of it. <laughs> 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 the... Howie somewhere is like, do I have to remove another bird from a mechanical contraption again? Why is this a consistent problem? <laughs> Actually, the no. I know a merciful way to do this. Molly, you kind of want to <laughs> remove this thing's sentience and turn uh, it back to normal. Um, okay. It looks, it looks like it's in pain. Hey, Quinoa, you want to get out of there? It's going to crush you. <laughs> hey, Molly, you think you can use your powers on these bears? I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Just curious. Way I that... saw my first flower today. <laughs> In the way that you have the capability to murder other humans, yes, I can do that. <laughs> Molly gets real. The green one looks out at his fallen toy brother. Is this all it's amounted to? Ah! Yes, a new challenger. <laughs> Honey, you want to take a shot? <laughs> you want to try and kill Kanoa? Sweaty knuckles. Hmm. Might as well go two for two, but uh, let's not try to kill this bird. It seems like a pretty cool bird. <laughs> and I thought that 20 was mine. God damn it. I, you attempt to uh, punch Quinoa, but he blocks it seamlessly and looks you straight in the eye. <laughs> then he gains a cold, respectful sweat, like, oh, oh my. A he, worthy challenger. He's, he brings his fist back and pounds the other robot who just goes flying. Lenny watches him fly into the sky and it goes ping like a star and he turns back to look at Quinoa. <laughs> Quinoa is muscular and terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen a bird with so much muscles. Lenny reaches up and puts his hand out. That was an excellent fight, Quinoa. I hope we could do battle again in the future. He tries to shake Quinoa's bird fist. <laughs> Quinoa, I have a favor to ask you. I want you to fly up there to that battleship and do that exact thing to Giovanni. <laughs> For it's really the high. Battleship. It's really far right. away and really high. <laughs> Quinoa flops two feet up and then falls on the floor. <laughs> it's been a tiring day for Quinoa. Well, it was worth a shot. Lenny yes. picks up Quinoa and hoists him on his shoulder like a hurrah kind of thing. Like, you did it, bird. You're so cool. Everyone, I've found a large. Lenny has newfound respect for Quinoa. <laughs> hey there. Looks like you found me. Oh, and a hippo. <laughs> the the lever is about 10 feet in the air. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess you huh, found the lever huh, to the gate. Huh, huh. You won't be able to get past me, Why is the though. Lever? <laughs> nope. Uh, I mean, you could try drinking a wild magic potion and oh, chancing yeah, it. Oh, yeah, let's do it. 62. Two. Target is frozen in time for a round. Quentin can't move or say anything. <laughs> Quentin's going to Whoa, that's no good. Punts him out. <laughs> he sort of like flies and doesn't like smush in the ground. He goes like tink, 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 like a statue right. landing. All right, so this is like my lever and my duty to not let you go past me. Huh. Good luck. Could we please do the lever? Huh. Okay. Nice try. I see you've taken some interpersonal communications classes. That well, won't get you too far here. I have a better idea. Hey, Birdie, you want to get the lever? You hit the lever. Oh, I guess I don't have reach because I'm a hippopotamus. <laughs> well, I failed. I'll be seeing you later. He like oh, does the like my eyes, your eyes thing and sinks into the water. See you later, kid. <laughs> huh, well, all right. Good job, Quinoa. Yeah, it's all, it's all coming together pretty nice, I think. I have a good feeling. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. it's over here. Uh, An octopus. Eat the octopus. I try to stop Kima from eating the octopus. Ah! Roll to stop. Eh. <laughs> he eats four twentieths of an octopus. Ah, Kima earned it. <laughs> the octopus isn't even gonna defend itself. Mr. That's... Toy Soldier, are you gonna just let that happen? I have once been in this world before. This is my second time being sentient. The things I have seen. The three hours I have been alive. <laughs> I no longer wish to be a soldier. I just stare at the sea with my new friend. Hello! 
I am an octoclacker. I am on foreign exchange program from the ocean. Oh. <laughs> oh. Continues to nibble. You're an overseas toy, aren't you? I am an in the seas toy. Octoclacker. Octopus. Octoclacker. Octopus. He dances. Yeah, I get it. Hey, Lenny, I don't think you have one overseas if you want to, you know, persuade him to come <laughs> you with you. You want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't killed an octopus from the ocean before. You know, uh, since you just got here from overseas, there's a lot of stuff you uh, haven't seen yet. Maybe you could come with us and see the world, at least this side of the world. Why what? does Quentin come back to life? <laughs> oh, he's... He, sorry, he's dead. No, I'm not. <laughs> <He's dead. laughs> Quinoa is the new plaster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Goodbye, frog. Thank you for kisses. <laughs> I acquire Octo. What's it called? Octoclacker. It's an Octoclacker. Octoclacker. All right. Uh, he is with you. I don't want to move him. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll well. move. All right. So the gate's down, by the way. I'm going to check what's over here first. Same. A friendly bait. Oh, mine. Agatha, give me a roll. I see you sprinting through those trees. <laughs> yeah. Agatha's really quick. Like, scary quick. Oh, that's pretty bad. Sylvie, give me a roll. All right. You oh, yeah, it Sylvie first. gets it. Yeah, Sylvie gets it. Oh, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Agatha whispers from within the trees. Do we really want Agatha, Agatha to have sure. more health? She's clearly evil. <laughs> You, well, you do, because she has no health. I think I ate this test in PE. Don't worry, I know she's seething inside. She hates it when I get gays in class. There you go. Yeah, I'll rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> Agatha continues playing this no note sourly. <laughs> Can I talk to this frog first? <laughs> the same exchange happens as exactly the other two. Quentin doesn't realize anything's amiss. Quentin doesn't realize he's in a toy world. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another goddamn Monday. Toys! Toys! Uh, so the bridge is down. The door is still closed. Sorry, you cannot pass. All right, Naven, I respect you a lot. Thank you. But I think your ideas of pacifism in this situation are stupid and wrong. Oh, there was more. All right. <laughs> How he punches the door and it explodes. Whoa! Well, yeah. I'm going through. <laughs> and oh. I'm going to follow. Well, that was I'm part of the plan. Uh, soldiers to battle stations! I'm going to follow the big strong man. We will stay here outside and look at the flowers. What if someone chokes again on a butterfly? We were big help. Frog All right. challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the bird talks? Yeah, it's a cockatiel. They can talk. Oh, yeah. I'll let a cockatiel. About... A cockatiel. Uh, can you repeat after me? Giovanni's a big loser. Frog, Giovanni's a big loser. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> oh, that was intentional. Putin is okay. carried in limply by quinoa like he's a kitten. Like floating him a few feet in the air like a stork carrying a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't let any of you pass to go and fight Mistress Millie and Grand Commander Supreme Vincent Murder. Well, hmm. Not like they can get past. There is a door. Uh-huh. You guys stay still. Okay. Even if you get past me, this door is unbreakable. It was made by Mistress <laughs> Millie herself. Punch. The door shatters. He walks through. Oh! Wow. <laughs> well, I guess the stronger people than me will deal with him. But I'll deal with you. Okay, so before right. we, like, do any of that stuff, let's never mess with Howie. Agree? Can everyone agree on that? Howie's very strong. Almost as strong as me. You can't tell, but I'm winking. Lenny raises an eyebrow. <laughs> Close his eye more so than usual. Combat is started! <sighs> okay, here we go. Alright, what is this? Toy soldiers? There's some on the balcony. Um. Okay. Okay. Naven, what's the word for, like, when you see a lot of war and no longer care about watching people die? Um, disillusion. disillusion. No, it's like, whatever, I'm gonna shoot them. Uh, she shoots this one for four, because that was a 18. All right, so she shoots this guy in the bottom right of the left-hand squadron. So he takes some damage. Ow! 
My face. Naven tosses Quentin a toilet apple. Yeah. Uh, that'll give you one health apple. back. Yes, and I'm it's a bad throw. Though. Octoclacker, I stay with Guide. He hangs out with Lenny. Gonna move up here and use my chalk wand. Sure, where are you putting it? Uh, the middle guy. Middle guy on the bottom. And uh, because your passive is that you hate children and toys, you do plus two damage to any children or toys. Oh, that's 10 damage. This guy immediately looks bad. Oh. 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 <laughs> he continues owing. Lenny. Oh. Can the Octo Clacker attack? Does it do anything? Is there anything I should know about it? Um, it moves on its own. You don't know what it can do. Well, I, all right, roll for it. Roll for knowledge. You're a toy collector. Yeah, see if I know anything about this toy. Yeah, all right. You know a pretty good deal. Octo clackers are a pretty shitty, like, thing you see. You know, like, the gum and magazines near aisles. They they have that, like, plasticky smell if you play with them that it gets on your hands. They're squishy. Uh, they do have little, like, wooden clackers on the ends of their tentacles. So if you do bounce them, they clack and they make noise. So he might be able to, like, wrap people with his tentacles. You're not sure. Okay. You stay here. You, might... you seem pretty collectible. Maybe worthy even. I mean, you're alive. That makes you phenomenally worth a lot. I'll handle this. One, two, three, four, okay. five. Okay, good luck. Lenny reaches into his fanny pack and somehow pulls out an entire train set. He's going to do his choo-choo on um, however many of these guys he can get. It's two by two, right? So what, it's like... What direction um, are you doing? What lets me hit the most of them? It's two by two, so I could go through here and get like these four. Yeah, right. if you were if you were right here, you could get four of them. Yeah, sure. I'll give you that. 14. That's pretty good. All right. Lenny goes choo-choo, and a massive train <laughs> forms around him like a robot. He makes his own sound effects for it. <laughs> chugga, and chugga, chugga, it. chugga. He doesn't write it. And chugga, it chugga, 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 choo-choo. You shoot well, you it through them. The um, how much damage did that do? Eight? Eight damage. Can hit multiple targets, range of five. Once per combat. Okay. I will give that six damage to the top two and eight to the bottom two. Oh, I have learned a new thing. Pain. Sensation mm -hmm. added. Lenny almost feels a bit bad, but then doesn't. It's fine. They're not really... I mean, they are sentient, but, like, they won't be. Yeah, so we can we can discuss the finalities of that later, I guess. I contemplate this a lot in my free time. Right, yeah. You're realizing Molly is pretty dark. Yeah, I've, really I've, I've seen Toy Story 2. I think about it quite a bit. Toy Story 2 is okay. <laughs> but I mean, not as I mean, good as the first one or The Incredibles. Right, The Incredibles is a really good movie. <laughs> I'll stop. Sylvie's turn. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like card numbers are a little small compared to them. Let's even that out. Dream a little dream. That's the sheep one, right? Yep. I'll get you your sheep. All right. Can I control them now or my next turn? No, you got to wait till your next turn. Okay. Okay. Roll for Winston's wild. curse. Uh, Roll a D100 for wild magic and tell me what number it is because I'm on the wild magic list. A frustrated genie appears and is determined to half-ass a wish. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I yes, hello. I am genie. What? What is your wish? Wow. Come on, get I can wish for anything. Yes, yes. Oh, you want yes. anything? Okay, congratulations. Here, you get anything. No! <laughs> no, you, you, you get an omelet. <laughs> Does it taste good, though? That's a pretty accurate roll. It's so average. Okay. <laughs> it's the okayest omelet. I think I broke lamp. <laughs> That's well, you hilarious. must have broke lamp because a shitty genie came out of him. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use my amulet of bees so we can get even <laughs> more people on our team. Does All this right. include the bee on my hat? <laughs> um, it, I was going to use the friendly bee as an icon. I'm going to say no, friendly bees are friendly. These yeah. are not friendly <laughs> bees. You now have bees. And just so everyone knows the bee stats, um, bees continuously attack one target for five damage every turn until the target falls or you recall them. Bees can move six spaces per turn, once per combat. It's a flock, a flock of bees, that, that, that's what it's called. Uh, it's Moppet's turn. So wow, she, half of she my front whatever. line has been taken out immediately or they're on the ground. That's pretty bad. She's going to have all of the soldiers in the front move forward. I will do my job. This soldier down here is just going to swing at this bees. They have little uh, wooden swords. Yeah, that's that's good enough to do three damage to the bees. Quentin, you are going to have to take that damage or the bees will be wounded a little bit. They'll still be able to fly, but they won't be as strong. 
Okay, whatever. I can make the sacrifice. Oh, right. They can't move very far, can they? I forgot. They are shitty wooden toy soldiers. These guys are just going to move forward to be menacing. And what's Moppet going to do? She is going to send forth a balloon buddy who is okay. going to go and head towards Lenny. Okay. How is there no balloon icon? I'm going to give you this. <laughs> Go forth! And that's what it can do. That is their turn. And also, someone rolls something. Let's see what they roll. Not great, really. You hear a... <laughs> and a baseball crashes top left. Mashed! Good try. Now we can gauge where they are from where you shot. You did that on purpose, right? Of, of course I did. I'll be able to hit them next time. Ouch, ouch, okay. you hit me. Oh, it hurts so much. You're a liar, Sylvie. Sylvie, are you okay? Molly says, totally worried. No, I got hit by a baseball. Giovanni's really good at throwing them. <laughs> she is going to use the world is quiet here and just focus for a turn. That's enough. Whatever her next action is, she gets a plus six on it. Naven's going to walk over here, throw another apple at Quentin. Yay, an apple. Oh, it's a good apple. You get four. Octo Clacker, stay here. Millie, I told you to not reanimate that phone. I threw it in the ocean for a reason. Okay. Octo Clacker gets phone. Octo Clacker walks over to the phone that's just out of perspective here and picks it up. Hello? Hello, is this Giovanni? No. He hangs up. <laughs> Agatha. I'm going to stay here and use my chalk wand again. Yeah, he's blown up. Oh, Franklin is dead. <laughs> Revenge is a foreign <laughs> concept to us. We will continue doing our jobs. Somewhere, Howie feels good. You want to move? No. Lenny. Um, he'll throw crap from his fanny pack for damage on uh, this guy. Go. Yeah, roll for it. Uh, you do too. He is hit by his own toy soldier and stares at it for a moment. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Am I... I do not understand. What is this? What is this? It's you, Lady Points dramatically. You made this of me? Thank you. No. New best friend. <laughs> Misunderstands. <laughs> Sylvie. This sheep on the left is going to move up and uh, take the balloon for Lenny by charging into it. Oh. The sheep bumps into the balloon and nothing really happens. It didn't pop. Oh, okay. Not yet. Well, this sheep is going to move up to this guy and attack little old toy soldier. That's good enough for two damage. I'll take two. He's looking real bad. The counting sheep, I'm guessing that's a range of five because it doesn't say a range on here. Yeah, I'll say range of five. Okay, I'm going to squeeze by Lenny. Excuse me, Lenny. And I'm going to use counting sheep on uh this this Moppet thingy. is her Moppet. name. All right. Night, night. Well, maybe not. Hey, no, um, just had is. my fifth cup of coffee. I'm alive for the first time, so I get to experience these kind of things. <laughs> All right, that's Sylvie's turn. B is attacking this sideways guy. Roll yeah. for B controls. B is. Uh, wow. Rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Are they sure all sting into his hat, seeing it as big and red and maybe a flower? Does not do damage. Oops. That is the bees. Go for it, Quentin. Okay. I will use a snake oil potion to summon the believe in yourself, frog. <laughs> okay, uh, roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This this frog shows up and is heavy and lands on Quinoa's head, weighing him down. Hey there, I'm the low self-confidence frog. Did you know your mustache has been out of style for two decades? <laughs> he keeps making fun of you. Uh, it's Moppet's turn again. This balloon has a mission, and I'm gonna roll to see if it can complete it. All right. And then, boop, it explodes. It deals eight damage to everyone adjacent, which means this guy, boop, dead. The sheep either take 16 for, uh, you take 16 for them, or they both die. I would and have you take to take it. 24 altogether, so no, the sheep die. Unless anyone has an interrupt they want to use. Molly has one, she can use it. She is gonna use Tone It Down. That's really good. All right, that will do, instead of eight damage to everybody, two to everybody. Can I choose to keep my sheep then? You can, you'll take six damage. I was at 32, so I'll do the math. It was, that'd be uh, 26 then? Yeah. Then I'll you keep know, my sheep. You are good at math. 
<laughs> I wouldn't be as good without you, Agatha. I give a little wink, as well as my Peace on Worlds sign to her. Steam shoots out of her ears. <laughs> shoots out in geometric spirals. Okay, These I saved your sheep, These two soldiers are going to Thank whack you, Agatha. They whack her. Yep, they each do three, so six. I do not like fluffy things. Attack. Miss! It just bounces off the sheep's fluff. These guys are gonna move down and try and quarantine the bees. Yeah, I was gonna have them do that too! I was gonna have them try and deal with the bees. They, they do a pretty good job. They cover the bees with themselves, and they're made of wood, but will still take damage. But the bees can't move. They can still sing. I'm gonna have these two over here hop down. These three. These middle ones are captains too. All right, this one is going to shoot at Sylvie. And Ten, uh, yeah, you take two. Uh, this guy, this commander walks over and goes, It is not nice to insult, and shoots the frog. <laughs> you shoot like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear a voice from the sky. I'll show you my secret technique number 42. I just came up with it. Uh, you know what the scariest toy ever imaginable is? Take a guess. A um, dildo! A giant what? scary clown in a jester's box. Fuzzbows! When you said you turned them into bombs, I thought you were talking about like the soldiers or something. I, I was expecting something a little scary. These are good too. They won't expect the bombs that are in them. The bombs that will explode if they get near them or if they're shot. Yeah, they'll never oh, no. expect those bombs. We're so clever. So. Intercom caught, so you think a little bit later than it should have. So now, fuzz right. bows are in play. They are fuzz bombs. All right. Molly has a plus six on whatever she's going to do. She saw that guy shoot at Sylvie, so she's going to go over here. And she is going to try and tone down everything around her. Uh, all these soldiers. Oh boy, oh boy, does she. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a twenty-six. Dead, 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 dead. dead. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill all of these except the captain. That was really good. Wow, for sure. Children oh. have their purposes, I suppose. <laughs> oh, man, does she level up? That'd be fucking awesome. It is a twenty. Uh, yes, she does get that. Nerf or nothing. Replace your catalyst bullets with nerf. These are brightly colored, and once a target is stuck, they become easier to hit. Plus four to attack rolls for anyone attacking them. Okay. That was pretty good. Good job, Molly. Yay. Good job, Molly. Have an apple. He throws an apple at her. Uh, it's an apple pie. She gets five health. Uh, that's Naven's turn. Where did the Octo Clacker go? Oh, he is making a phone call. He's making a phone call. I will now call someone else. Ring, ring. Hello, Octo Clacker headquarters. Hello, this is Octo Clacker headquarters. Hello, how are you? I am good. That is good. Hangs up. <laughs> Agatha. And blast the captain with Serum Theorem. Uh, uh, that shoots wide, I'm afraid. Lenny. These ones with the blue bars are captains, right? They're like more difficult. Yes. Yeah, they have guns. The blue bar is their ammunition. Okay, Lenny is going to throw a plastic on this one. Okay. Just so you're aware, that one has a lot less health. Do it on this one. Uh, is that within range? You might have to move first. It's five range, I'm pretty sure, and this is seven. Uh, you need to move where Quinoa is, or like here, above the sheep. Move up here. Then I'll throw it on him. 18. Okay. That's pretty good. He's stuck under plastic. Um, this feels oddly nostalgic. Uh, I'm going to move the sheep up here. I'm going to bop this one. Thank you. Bop him. Okay. Here, move wow. both of your sheep. Wow. This wow. sheep cuddles against him. <laughs> if only I could feel. Well, this one's gonna go on this one. Let's see. Yeah! I gave him a hearty bop. Right. That'll do three. He still looks pretty okay. Uh, in the future, move both of your sheep to attack and roll just for once, and they'll both do the same amount of damage. Because we want you to only yeah. cuddle. I'm gonna Waking Nightmare mop it. Wh okay. Which is, I summon its worst fear into battle. Let's see how much I can channel its fear. All right, its worst fear appears. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I so, hate do you. I, do I get to I'm a toy collector. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to be collected by you. <laughs> you can't put me back in the box. 
Can I control this Lenny, or do I have to wait till the next <laughs> No, turn? it's gonna wait. Okay. No one controls Lenny. It's a nega Lenny. <laughs> Moppet's just looking between the two like, huh, huh, which one's the real one? Which one do I shoot? Quentin, good luck. <laughs> Okay, I guess oh, I'll bad. roll for oh, bee bad. damage. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that that guy underneath the bees is totally gone. And that's good enough. I'm going to take one off of everyone who is guarding the bees right now. <laughs> All right, that's the that's the bees. Um, they can't I'm, move because there are so many soldiers on top of them, though. I'm going to use the phone I fished out of the ocean to call uh, the Octoclacker. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you don't need to roll for that. Just RP it. Hello, hey, Octoclacker! How are hey, things you. looking over there? This is a wall. I cannot see very far, but I am having a fun time on the phone talking to you. Let's chat how are you? more often. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> oh, Careful I'm fine. I am of omelet. Ooh, you know what? I will take that. The Octoclacker skitters surprisingly fast <laughs> over and begins putting its weird mouth on the omelet. It has no hole, <laughs> but it damn does it try. All right. That's your turn, unless That's you want to move. Sure. Quinoa can also move. Um, Quinoa is actually independent of you. He takes damage for you, but he can also attack. How much damage does he do? Four, I think? Yeah. Uh, should I roll for his damage then? Should. Uh, nope, nothing. He's distracted and eats some of the bees. <laughs> oh no. Mop it again. Uh, I will have the fuzzbows all move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The fuzzbows march forward. Well, first of all, this captain is over here is going to seize Molly as a threat and will shoot her. Nope. I will try again later. <laughs> okay. Moppet is very freaked out by Giga Lenny. <laughs> I don't want to be put back in the box. So she's going Once to use you're her- in the box. You will no! never come out because it ruins the collector's value. <laughs> it's true. This <laughs> guy gets it. <laughs> she is going to use her her ability polymorph on Giga Lenny. Oh no! Turns into okay. large Quentin. What is she trying to turn him into? Something that oh. isn't Lenny. He turns into like a pig man that kind of looks like Beast Ganon, but with Lenny's color scheme. Honestly, not much has changed. Hmm. <laughs> wow, thought that would work better, but I, I don't know, I think it looks better. Dude, this is some great cosplay. These Recognize soldiers this are all still on B containment, so they're... Right now, I'm Vest is the second arc villain from Kissy Crusaders. Yeah, Yeah, this season was a pretty good season, I thought. Yeah. It was pretty good, yeah, this I thought it was good... pretty good. This would pass as a Porkmore outfit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These bees are gonna get whacked at. No, they won't. Do not Continue. worry, I am a captain. I will take care of the bees. Is he gonna shoot at the bees? He's gonna shoot the bees. They will take four damage. No. There are less bees now. They will only do three damage now. Let's have him do two because most of them got whacked. I'm gonna have that one this swing one at her. Is, captain is gonna use his wooden sword on Agatha. Doo -doo -doo. You get back for two. I must redo the damage that has been done by the frog. Quinton. You are a good man. Thumbs up. Wow. Thanks. Now I believe Quentin, in myself. you get two stamina back. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, that's their turn. Whatever happened to the base boss? Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> you're, you're One welcome. falls on Sylvie. <laughs> <laughs> I am very glad I could be of assistance. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shot over Lord of Darkness, Giovanni Botage. He dies. Oh no, soldier friend! <laughs> what am I yeah, fighting for? Soldier boy, come on! Go smart. <laughs> Molly's gonna shoot this captain. Yeah, jeez, Molly, pull and wait. That does, I think, three damage. So, again, that's a nineteen though. It'll do four. This guy's now stuck. He's very, very easy to hit and looks like he's about to fall over. Oh, uh, that's Molly. Naven isn't quite fast enough to make it over there. He is going to throw a toilet apple with a rose and a eulogy attached to it next to that baseball. <laughs> and it lands in the beats. 
but his his gesture is appreciated by the soldiers. Thank you. The bees don't understand, and they are attracted to the rose. Oh no! <laughs> Octoclacker! What should I do, Lenny? <laughs> okay, Octoclacker, we'll try! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I thought you said Lily. Like, you're talking to someone else, like, Lenny. It's like, um, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I was Octo like, Clacker oh, what? runs into the bees, and he is going to try and just hang out with the bees. They dance. Octo Clacker's <laughs> turn is over. You Oops, I get that. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to use Serum Throw him on the one next to me. Yeah, that's good enough. Does, uh, it's 10 damage because you're a strongman. 10 yeah. damage. Also, just to remind you, the fuzzbows are advancing. You still have your movement. Yeah, I'm going to move down here. Lenny. Lenny is going to throw plastic onto this fuzzbow. Okay. All right. The plastic hits the fuzzbow. My insides have been replaced with dynamite. There is nothing left for me. He explodes. It would damage anything in that radius, but uh, there's nothing there. Oh. Uh, Giga Lenny is here. Lenny, you want to control him? I, I mean, Keen, if you want to control him, I, I have fun. Sure. What I was going to do is I was going to try to have him grab the baseball and throw it. Okay. Flying Lenny can do any kind of sports. <laughs> Look, it's yeah. a big, it's a big gigantic. He rolled a nine for flex. He could probably play like badminton. <laughs> yep. All he has Jello to do is just throw it experience. over here at the fuzzbows. I will say those are pretty stuck in the ground because they flew from really high up from a cannon. But okay. he could try. Or you could smash him off. It. That was the backup yeah. plan. Hey, 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 Super Lenny. Yes, that is me. <laughs> Super Lenny! Do, 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 do. Thanks, he flexes. You and me were getting the TV show after this, but um, I know a guy. <laughs> anyway, you see that Moppet right over there? He points to Moppet. I sure do. You should punt her into the wall. Well, I, I'll try really hard not to damage her outside business so she doesn't look ruined or old. You know, like, I want to get mint I condition if I- I already look ruined and old. Stay away from me! Oh, well, thank you. You've given me the confidence to kick you. No! Uh, that's enough for five damage. She goes a little further over this way. Sorry, but I already have one of those, Kigalini. You can do whatever you want. Sylvie. Okay, this sheep on this one, this sheep on this one. I'll just roll once. Okay. Whoa, that's All right. That's pretty bold. Dead. The captain goes down. Dead. Oh, this balloon's been gone for a while. Uh, and this guy takes two damage. I will move one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna try to hulk out with Lenny with rapid guy movement. All right, give me a roll for whatever dream takes you over. It might not be the same one. It's a yeah! The doctor is in, and he (laughs) now has many other doctorate degrees. Such as words. Dr. Beefman, now both a professor in medicine and a professor in law and linguistics, appears exactly as big as Giga Lenny. So I'll just size up Sylvie. He's more accomplished than Agatha is. Agatha is furious. Depressed Quentin. What are you rolling one day? 20 for B damage. Oh Oh, damn. Uh, That counts as a proficiency upgrade because that's one of your abilities. Wow, three, yay. (laughs) All right, yeah, you now have three. Let me check if that gives you a level up. It does. Wow, Yay. yay. You now begin each battle with a wild magic snake oil potion to throw at anybody. Oh. Does the bee do damage? It's a 20. It'll just take all the guys who have taken significant damage. Okay. This guy by Quinoa still looks good, though. Super okay. bee attack. What? Both Quinton and Quinoa can attack still. Okay, I'll roll for Quinoa damage on that soldier. He's looking bad. Quinton can both do things, and he has a cane he can attack with. Oh, that's true. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, I guess. I will attack with his bamboo cane. It is bamboo. Okay. Yeah. It should have gone boo he, bamboo. You, he is hit. That's three damage, right? I think so, yeah. All right, it's Moppet's turn. The fuzzbows advance. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't turn around. <laughs> Giovanni, why? What? Uh, this one walks. It's time to do my duty. <gasps> the bees are gone, and no, Quentin takes bees. eight damage. The bees. I loved them so. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't go anywhere either. Oh no. This one's gonna shoot at that sheep. Yeah, that hits. Um, You wanna take, I think it's four. Four damage for the sheep or have it go down? Uh, I'll take it's, the It's being four. shot. You take the four. This guard is going to try and, I will help you little guy. And he's going to attempt to turn the fuzzbow around. Oh no. Uh, roll for handle fuzzbow. <laughs> Not good enough. It explodes. Oh, actually that wouldn't have killed the soldier. 
<laughs> Ratcon. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse explosion. <laughs> I'm back and alive. <laughs> I'm immune to explosions. That's right. That wasn't. This one sarcasm. is going to attempt to do the same thing with this fuzzbo. Which direction do you want him to go? Yeah, he's just, just gonna go that way. Okay. The fuzzbo is ready. Fuzzbo primed! One, two, three, four. The captain shoots and this guy also just whacks Sylvie, so... You get whacked for three and shot for four. Okay. I'm at nine stamina. And then Moppet's turn, I think. Mop is going to move back and use contact juggling! And throw of... three juggling oh. balls at Giga Lenny. Miss. Oh, oh, oh. Miss, miss, miss. <laughs> She's so terrified. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Power you down. It's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna say that's like 10 damage because it's like ripping her life force apart. Wow, those coffees, ugh. I think they just wore out. I'm feeling a lot yeah. more tired and less alive. Naven sees Sylvie. Um, Open Dr. your Pete. mouth and say, <laughs> Hello! Ah! Here, have a golden apple! He heals you for six. Nice. Dr. Beefton, thank you! Apple uh, okay. a day I... does not make Doctor go away! It only makes Doctor angry! Octoclacker, go on face! The Octoclacker <laughs> slams itself into this gun. Oh. The gun is now the Octoclacker's home. <laughs> <laughs> the foreign exchange program was a success! Agatha. I'm gonna move up here and use the chalk wand on the captain. I will try to. Yeah, that that doesn't hit. Well, that was a good attempt. Lenny Baxter, Lenny Baxter. Oh, All better. right, it's your turn and your turn. Hey, mop it. Yeah? You know, if you give up and come with us, we don't have to beat you down. I mean, it looks like you're kind of losing. You could be cool and hang out with us. It's true, we are cool. Well, I literally can't do that. I think if I do that, Millie will just shut me off. Well, it's not like dying, it's just like going to sleep. Forever. Forever. Yeah, it's basically dying. Um. Look, I mean, if I'm a villain, I have to kill off my minions that fail. That's just the rule. Hmm. All right, Muppet, I'll give you a choice. You can either let your bad guys get you, or I can have Gigalini take you out. What's it gonna be? Jesus. Jesus. You're not um, coming with us, I tried. Gosh. I don't want either of those, honestly. You know what? Hmm. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> hey, Gigalini, just ignore her for a while. Let's just pretend she's not even there and let's just see what happens. Go get that, that guy over there. He points over to this stray toy that soldier. That toy is much less interesting than her, but I will take it. You are an expert. I will do what you say. What do you, you say? See, you see, if we destroy Moppet, she won't be worth as much. You can, you can destroy that, uh... That toy soldier, there's like a hundred billion of those. Okay. Clambers. <laughs> and, uh, yep, he's Bro. gonna head that way. Well, I am very gonna... heavy. He's gonna throw something from his giant fanny pack. Yeah, it hits. It's gonna hit for six. Uh, Lenny comes down here and he's gonna throw plastic on this fuzzbo, hoping it'll detonate like oh. the other one did. Nice. Let me do that again. Boy, I guess you have a lot of health. And 19. Nice. This fuzzbo is still in the arms of this guy, totally blows him up. Nice. All right, Dr. Beefton. This sheep is gonna go for this one, and this one should, uh... This sheep is gonna follow Giga Lenny up here. Wait, it was here, so one, two? Can I step on three. here? I forgot to go around. You can step on there, but it's two diagonals, which means it's three spaces. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, which you can't go, so five. But that's still adjacent, so you can still hit him. Okay, so let's get both of your attacks out of the way. Ah, yeah! Do I get proficiency still to my sheep? You do. Yeah! That, uh, that's a pet sheep. That does four damage to each of them, killing neither of them. I'm gonna walk up. Dr. Beefton is gonna unleash some havoc of surgery on Moppet. You bash her once. She's pretty slippery, and you throw a flurry of punches. It does six damage. Okay, I'm gonna use my friendly bee that's on my hat to befriend soldier. Okay. Oops. <laughs> That's pretty bad, but um, he's already a pretty friendly soldier, and he's friends with this Octoclacker, so this soldier seems pacified. Yay! <laughs> I control his gun now. <laughs> he 
He shoots it once, and the Arctic Tiger just goes flying. Quinoa, you want to do anything? Uh, no. Uh, mop it again. Moppet's looking pretty rough. She's on her last legs. This soldier um, goes down here and rallies his troops. He's like, hey, let us not fight. This one's like, okay. This one's like, <laughs> no way. And takes a swing at the sheep. He hits for one. If I'll you want to take that or the sheep. Yeah, okay. I'll take one damage. This one's going to attack the sheep. Yep, if you want to take three. four. No, that oh, one's four. dead. Oh, it's three. Yeah, it is three. So mm, yeah, way. it's three still. It's, I won't take it. It's dead. And she poofs this it out one of existence. going to shoot at Lenny. That's a solid hit for four. What is Moppet gonna do? This is looking pretty bad, but she's going to try and contact Juggle Molly. <laughs> at Molly. That would hit, but let's see if Molly can do anything to stop that. Yeah, okay. She's gonna use I'm with stupid. Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. Uh, she just takes the hit and takes an extra three. How much does that do? Well, I hit with three juggling balls and each do three. So she takes 12. Ah, uh, okay. Oof, having a good day there until that. Uh, and... <laughs> One more try! 13! 13! Oh my god. Oh man, it's Giovanni's lucky number. I'm sorry, Gigalenny, but you are done. <laughs> <laughs> Direct hit and a Giovanni proficiency buff. Home run! Lenny turns around and sees his precious Gigalini gone. <laughs> a single tear forms from his eye. Would that activate Lenny's passive? Um, yeah, you I can it? see that. Yeah, go for it. You, There's see only one of those Lenny awesome. toys. <laughs> All right. Um, Lenny now I'll has a, on a any roll attempt for a bonus. Molly's just gonna shoot Moppet. Nope, she misses. She's a little sad that she got hurt. Uh, Naven is going to. Those soldiers by Quinoa are pacified, so he's gonna throw one more at Agatha. Yeah, that's three health, and he's gonna move over this way. I think he can only go to here. Octoclacker attempts to befriend uh, Top Soldier. No, not good enough. All right, okay. Agatha, you're gonna do it. Cast. It's gonna happen. Gonna cast the wand on this captain again. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that is exactly time. what children. I got the last time. Agatha realizes it's hard to channel her hatred into toys. It's not as easy when they're like adult toys. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Lenny, you've got your rage. Um, Lenny pulls out some especially pointy sharp toys from his fanny pack and throws them as hard as he can at this captain here. This is your anger buff you're using? I mean, I guess so. There's not much else I want to use. Stamina wise, there's nothing else I want to use. I'm getting pretty low, so. Um, okay. Go for it. Yeah. With the buff, that is enough to hit. He'll go down. Agatha's like, that was my kill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna head over here. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Beefton, PhD. Sheep on <laughs> top uh, soldier. Okay. Uh. That's enough, he's down. Yeah! And uh, Beef Tin is gonna charge at Moppet. Okay. Wow. That is also just enough to do another six damage. She is looking really bad. Yeah, I will rip you apart. Wow. She. Uh, uh... I am an expert at surgery. Let me take you apart. She's like having trouble walking. All right. Rip Bees 2016. It's your turn. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna call the teddy bears at the picnic and see if they have room for five more. They um, don't. Darn. <laughs> How'd you get there? They only there? have three seats. Well, that's all I have. All right. Okay. Uh, Moppet's last try. <laughs> Moppet's big try. And this <laughs> this soldier sees these apples and is going to shoot at Naven. He just misses. Naven just dips out of the way. All right, pop it. She's really on her last legs here. She goes down with glory and shoots out a balloon buddy. All right. No, not really. <laughs> the balloon, the yeah. balloon buddy fizzles out and with the last of her energy, she hears <laughs> as it loses all its air. Uh, Moppet just turns into a doll and sits on the ground. You guys won. Uh, the other toy soldiers. This one who is still hostile turns into dolls. The ones that were downright don't. Yay. The sheep disappears. Sylvie turns back to normal. You don't know what happens, Sylvie. You just see a doll in front of you and a crack in the wall and a lot of baseballs. Here you go. Unfortunately, you can't get stamina because Giovanni shot it. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> Molly is going, nice try, champ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What does Octo Clacker take? That's true. What does Octo Clacker take? Octo he, he picks baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, Naven doesn't do anything. Uh, okay, three stamina or two proficiency. Lenny, you now have nine epithet power. You get another ability. Ooh. This is actually, I'm glad you got this. This is one of my favorites. You get, I've got to have it. It's an anytime. Snatch an attack right out of the air, add it to your collection. You can now throw this attack back out once. It's basically Villager's B from Smash Bros. Oh my god. All right, cool. Four, Use right? this I attack all... once or once per combat? Once, it, once ever. It's like oh you take god. the attack and then you can For... use it once. Majin, you now have this power. Your sheep can now comfort other players. Sacrifice a sheep while they are adjacent to another ally, and it will restore three stamina to them. Doesn't work on you. Sheep blood okay. sacrifice cheers people up. <laughs> yep. Speaking of blood sacrifice, Agatha, your chalk holder wand gets a little upgrade. Do you want it to do one more damage or have two more range? Uh, one more damage. Okay. You take one more damage. And that is all your level ups. Good job, guys. Now is a good time to go to the bathroom or get a drink. A Shout boss. out to my friend Robert who's watching. Oh, is hey, that your brother? My brother is time. named Robert, but this is a different Robert. Nice try. We all know it's just your bro. I was just smart seeing that giant Sylvie earlier. That was a new trick I actually learned in the regional below. I'm not sure if you watched it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Agatha makes a whirring noise. <laughs> Processing, did I watch the regional blow? She opens a can of chili and dispenses it from her mouth. Why are you teaching elementary school kids now? Well, you see, I was originally teaching um, <clears throat> uh, high school, but I got fired. I know, I was there. Oh, How'd you get why. fired, though? <laughs> I know, I was there. Rude. Um, for <laughs> cruel and unusual punishment to the students. Why am I not Genius. surprised? As you learned no lesson. Yep. How many classrooms did you destroy while you were there? Um, well, well I destroyed the one ninth grade classroom, and they, um, I don't know if it's a three, six, seven, it's a four. Did you ever have to, like, four pay classrooms. for the damages at all? How, how are you still, like, not in jail? Uh, well, I, I went by an alias at the, uh, at the high school. So Fuck Whistle isn't your real name. <laughs> No, 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 f no, Fuck Whistle is my real name. I went by a fake name over at the high school, but now I'm using my real name at the elementary school. Oh, okay. Because I called you Fuck Whistle when I was in high school. <laughs> 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 well, I was Agnes Fuck Whistle at the high oh, school. Oh, that makes more sense. That Thank was you. my age. <laughs> Thank you. How did you learn any of these dark arts? Like, is that like an epithet or... Oh, well, I studied for several years. There's a secret temple complex under the Parthenon where there's a there's a cult that worships the uh, the spirit of Euclid. <laughs> you did take a lot of vacations when you were teaching us. I guess that's where you've been. Um, Quinoa, please don't deface because like once this turns back, it's going to be our store again. This is just going to be like spread on walls. Oops. Molly starts scrubbing. Oh, it's like past my bedtime now. Same. <laughs> Naven, we're gonna miss our class. Oh, I think everyone's learning things. You've made a bunch of new friends. She looks at Agatha Fuck Whistle. She looks at Lenny. She looks at Quentin. She looks at Sylvie. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Just... Are we ready to follow Howie? Oh, yeah, Howie. You know, I'm not sure how he puts all that strength into his punches, but we ought to thank him later. He learned it from Quinoa. <laughs> That's right, Kinma. When we find Giovanni, you know what to do. Rock, eat him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that no. Well, maybe. Mm, don't eat the necklace. I'm pretty sure he has it. You guys pass the other side of this gate and see a staircase that just leads down into the ocean. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Wah, wah. And there she goes. Uh, you guys can breathe underwater here. That's just how it works. Molly seems bored and tired. All right, you guys enter the ocean. You're on like a mesa 
uh, uh, there's trenches on either side of you and roiling ocean just extends infinitely in both directions. But on this strip is a bunch of little shops run by octoclackers and pool toys. It's very, very bright and surrounded by little glowy glowies that might be jellyfish or something. There's a bunch of junk littering everywhere. You guys hear over the intercom, hey, welcome to the ocean strip. I took up all the pollution and stuff in the ocean because I read about that on like a Buzzfeed article and it's super bad. So I was like, what if they took that ugly stuff and made it pretty, so I turned it into a shopping complex. You know, that's actually admirable. I mean, there's like a lot of trash in the ocean. <laughs> yes, it's good to see someone using their epithets for good, even if it's in an imaginary world in a toy store. Hello, would you like to buy human clothing? Does not fit Octoclacker. The yellow Octoclacker puts a sailor suit on its, uh, its little like tendril on the top of its head. New hat, good new hat. Free. I will take a sailor girl uniform. So as you guys walk into this uh, alleyway. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, hey now, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, octoclackers of all ages, it's me, <laughs> Ducky Malone. Ooh, ah, ooh. All the octoclackers make a thing. It's Ducky Malone. I like your glasses. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 You see, I'm in charge of this here ocean strip. Me and my boys here, the Duck Gang, we're in charge of finance districts and making sure that the economy keeps running smooth. Yeah, running smooth, boss. Running smooth, real smooth. Like, yeah, that's right. I'm directly underneath the control of Mistress Millie and absolute quartermaster of no question, Giovanni Potage. I mean, Vincent Murder. I can't believe I haven't gotten that yet. It's a long title, and I have a long amount of respect for him. So why don't y'all just turn around and get out of here? Either that, or pay some money and help our little economy down here in the shopping district. Where are you going? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't really reach out and stop you. Hang on, stop moving so I can clear the area and you can see what's back there. Uh, you can see a big looming gate. This place kind of like reminds you of like, I don't know, maybe like a Chinatown area. It's kind of hokey looking. I see you're going to ignore my polite request. Oh, 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 well, that's just fine. I'll be waiting down there. Don't go too far, but feel free to reach our wonderful restaurants and beautiful shopping area. Yeah, beautiful shopping area, yeah. He floats away. What a polite duck. Should I get the hockey uniform or the soccer uniform? What do you think? Oh, hockey for sure. I've heard of that sport. <laughs> <laughs> Roll bluff. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of her. <laughs> Yeah, I got a real nice girl back home named Hockey. I think she'll appreciate this. The coy with your guidance spots, uh, hockey uniform. Hey, Octoclacker, what you selling? Hello, I am selling junk. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I have cans and boxes. Interesting. Can well, I have a box? What do I have down here? Oh, you're interested in a box? Here is a box. He hands you a box. It's a cereal it box. Anything else you got? Uh, I have some suspicious glowy glows and a rack of clothing. What is mm. this? Hmm, strange thing. Oh, well, do not I know mean, what that object is. I'll take the suspicious glowy glows. I'm actually kind of a researcher myself. Oh, it's suspicious glowy glow. Okay. He, uh, I won't be able to grab this because it's under too much shit on the map layer, but there is a friendly bee hidden in those glowy glows, right, if I can ping it, right here. Oh, oh hey! Oh. He grabs three real glowy glows and a friendly bee and hands them to you. That would be five kisses and a wink. Okay. <laughs> well, I watch you on this one, friend. <laughs> I, I'll let my friend handle the payments. Thank you, good sir. Great, here. Gives Quentin the friendly bee. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for skimping out on the payment. The ducks are just like watching everything they do. Yeah, that was a good transaction. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll... You're really moving up in this economy. Roll for give Sylvie the bee. We <laughs> can drop it. <laughs> I will. I will take the bee. Thank you, Quentin. 
I have two bees. How much for this hot rod? <laughs> oh, this hot rod. Oh, well, this one's mine, but I might be looking to sell it if you, uh, you know, got what I'm looking for. Gives duck kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it looks like you understand the way the world works around here. Here you go. He walks next to the car. Uh, he's wearing a trench coat. Tries his best to drape the trench coat over the hood of the car, then puts it off. Yeah, I got a car here. Here. <laughs> wow, I didn't even see that. You now have a car. It has no wheels, no engine, no wheel drive, and it smells kind of like the smoker used to own it. Roll to enchant car with magic potion. <laughs> the third crit fail potion. All right, you you pour the potion into the car's gas thing, and it revs up a little, and you hear the voice of the genie. Oh, great! It is you again. Now I am a car. Excellent. Great. What is your second wish? Omnipotence. Say that again. I do not understand your English very well. Omelet. Omelet. <laughs> Gives you an omelet, and then the car not is enchanted anymore. <laughs> it's a terrible omelet. Oh my god, it's way worse. It's made of car parts. <laughs> <laughs> it's a raw egg inside of a beat up car engine. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You have an engine now, though. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna take this bee that I. Found You're gonna look around. Here. I mean, you could just walk around. The, you don't have to climb on the car. Oh, you just it's walk. a tiny bee. You can just go around. It's a bee. All right, so you say you want to become a professional glowy glow like your friends. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's that's the plan. All right, well, you're already doing a great job because you got that beam and smile. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You got lovely teeth. It'd be a shame if they fell out from a punch or something similar. I agree. Hello, old woman. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> staring at the bee silently. I'd love to take that bee off your... Feathers. All right, well, that's a real good proposition. I'd like to hear you up on that, except I don't actually own this duck. It's its own sentient being with free will. I said duck, but I meant bee. I see everyone in a duck. I'm so anti-racist, it's almost a fault. <laughs> Can you help me be a glowy glow? Well, what do you need to be a glowy glow? Oh, uh, I don't know. What, what, what do I need? Uh, I, I don't really know. They just glow. Looks like you're already glowing. Looks like you're doing it. Oh, great. Then my mission's fulfilled. Here you go. You're gonna be. Well, gee, thanks. That was easy. Sylvie gets a B and Agatha gets a B. Okay. Three Keep track Bs. Of the Keep track of them Bs. That was easy. And Agatha, as you walk over about there, very slowly, a little awkwardly, probably not as menacingly as he wants, Ducky Malone floats down from the head of you. Well, it looks like you actually helped out our market a little bit. Oh, 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 oh that's pretty good. Thank you very much. But, uh, I'm afraid I still can't let you pass. So, I'll just realize something. Humans, they can't float here. Or at least, they aren't able to. Oh, now! Isn't that right, Mistress Millie? Yep, I removed your ability to swim. I gotcha. So now that this gate is here, you won't be able to pass for the rest of the strip. Ducky Malone is a genius. I'm gonna leave you guys now with one of my favorite associates to deal with. The Rainbow Clacker. Everybody give a hand to the rainbow clacker. A rainbow clacker floats down. Oh. Yes, hello, hello. I am the rainbow clacker. The rainbow clacker? They only wow, need 500 of those. Wow, you are really foreign. Now, rainbow clacker, I heard there was a little game you were gonna hypothetically let them play, and then maybe we'd let them pass the gate, but that won't happen. I'm only saying this because I'm a fair businessman. That is right, Ducky Malone. If you can find all of my, the other rainbow clackers, well, they're not actually rainbow, all of the other colors, you will be able to pass. Here is an example of what they look like. You found them! Yay! <laughs> it was all me! I take the credit! What do I win? The door opens! Or, no, it doesn't because it is glued shut! Oh, <laughs> that was your test? Oh I was expecting something a little more, I gotta be honest, but you had good showmanship, and I can respect that. Behind Ducky Malone, a couple planks of wood form around the gate. Roll for adopt white octo clacker. <laughs> eh. Eh. There it goes. 
Yeah, I wanna I wanna bring I this rainbow one with us because that's it's a collectible rare. Hey yo, rainbow collector, did anyone ever tell you that you're uh looking pretty rare today? Not that specifically. Well, if you wanna see the world with a fine toy collector as myself, then you should come along with us. We're on an adventure, you see. Okay. Works for me. <laughs> Alright. Obtained rainbow clacker. It follows you now. He lives in you. He watches over. He lives in me! Roll for adopt white octo clacker! <laughs> right. As you guys cross over the bridge, you see in the distance uh, a wall that seems to lead up to that crystal island that uh, Quentin was told about earlier. There is also, over here is the Duck's actual broker ship, and over here is a open air restaurant that Howie is sitting in. Oh, hey there, customers. My name's Lucia. How you doing? Hey, gang. This is Lucia. I, uh, tried swimming across the ocean. I couldn't make it because it just stretched out forever. Yeah, fuck you, Howie, says Millie from the distance. Millie, when I find you, I'm going to turn you into a liquid. Yeah, you, you okay. Soup? No, I'll... Fossil arm! Yeah, Lucia and I here, she, uh, she grabbed me and brought me down when I was a little bit tired. For vandalized bee poster. Wow, two ones. You die. Okay, uh, oh, quinoa, no! quinoa floats over and grabs the bee and brings it back to you. And I vandalize the poster. You get another bee. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, Howie, I have these bees here. Three of them, in fact. Do you want oh, them man. in exchange for stamina pins? Yeah, he just does. Same, it's the same exchange. Jesus. Well, I got one for you too, Howie. You all get bees. No. That's a little that's silly. Fine. You adults carrying around bees. <laughs> Not like I would ever do that. I would uh, I would do that immediately if given the option. <laughs> I guess I'm forgetting myself. Here, he hands her a large sum of real money that isn't Gansley bucks. Oh gee, roll for join fish family. <laughs> I'm doing my Lenny voice arrest. All right, relaxing. kids. Now we have to <clears throat> wait our turn to get into the cafe, even though there were seats open earlier. We just didn't <laughs> see them. I took them. Ding a ling ling. There's two seats open. Oh, All right, I kids, you go in first. Uh, oh. Don't sit on my kid. Lenny sits on the fish. And oh, no, I'm trying so hard to get them off. <laughs> Agatha sits on the child. Drops. This feels cruel and unnecessary punishment. That's the idea. <laughs> What's Why going on? Lenny's? Because he was under <laughs> Well, I just murdered one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's times like this I remember the fish sit song. Don't sit on a fish, or you might get an itch. Ha cha cha! So get off <laughs> no the fish. I that song. Really, I just made it up, so you're a liar. <laughs> Roll for bluff. I'm well. staying where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you're looking for a new face for your gang. How about a man in a bee suit? Here's my resume, writes resume in chalk on the ground. It washes away because you're underwater. Shit! Roll for tap dance. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty good tap dance. Quentin's yeah. weird bony everything sort of make a fun clackety clack as he dances. I am the octo clacker now. Listen, it's fine if you want to enjoy the beauty and wonder and economic boom of our little ocean strip Stop here. Stop on my kid. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you stopped sitting on our kid. Otherwise, our boys will have to forcefully, but safely, remove you from the premises. Oh, 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 oh. Fine, I'll, I'll get off uh, this one. Sits on other one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to move over there. <laughs> hey, hey, lady, you gotta get what? off that fish. What, you never heard the fish song? Or you'll do what? We we'll will have to very patiently remove you. I'm still not itching yet. Agatha, just get off the fish, come on. <laughs> all right, all right, well, we'll teach you a lesson. Hey, you know what the hey. word crepuscular means? Well, I was never a vocabulary teacher. What does it mean? Well, you ever hear the term nocturnal, meaning to, uh, uh, pertaining to night? The word crepuscular pertains to the uh, twilight hours, so like twilight and dawn. There, you learned a lesson. You've been taught, and while you were taught, I distracted you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, we got to get through there. I have a job to do tomorrow morning, and I need exactly eight hours of sleep a night to perform optimally. Otherwise, I feel sad, and I get grouchy. You're always grouchy, Howie. No. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Are I'm you? afraid we can't let you pass. This gate, this beautiful gate that Miss Millie made is completely impenetrable. Even our boys can't get through it. Watch this. Pulls out a Tommy oh, gun, goodness. shoots the gate. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put this Tommy gun away. This thing's really dangerous. Yeah, I'm glad you got a license. Responsible gun control is very important. Uh, I'm applying for my license next Tuesday. Wow, Why the, the gunpowder floats into a bee costume. <laughs> <laughs> Little duckies with Tommy guns. Now, who thought that was a good idea? Me! Look, they're so cool. Look at this one. He's got glasses and everything. Millie, you're, you're making letting me blush. him design toys? Well, yeah, he's so inspired. Like I said, you know what would make this place great? Good financiers. And he said, you know what would make it even better? If they were gangsters. And I was like, yes, you are the yin to my yang. Yeah, I gotta admit, uh, ducks and, you know, glasses and coat. It's pretty neat. Howie, it seems we've reached an impasse. Why don't we use our words to... Hey, Naven, listen. When you're on the clock teaching me, that's fine. I'm all fine with interpersonal communication. You're really supposed to use it outside of the classroom too. No, 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 shh. Stop the communication. I'm gonna communicate in the way I normally do right now, with violence. Uh, how he stretches himself up, how he rushes at the gate and punches it in an unbelievably quick flurry and roll for his damage. He just fucking destroys the gate. All right. Jesus. Wow, using my fists went faster. I'm going up again. Well, there's only uh, one group of people who can stop you from getting through this gate even better than I can. I think it's time to call my crack squad. The crack squad appears. Each of them float down slowly and unmenacingly. Green, pink, yellow, orange. Combat has started. Are you I guys here now? Plenty, you are ready. Can I get here with five spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, you can get here. Damn. Well, you're gonna train him, right? And that's a two by two. I mean, I guess my, my plan was just to go like Yeah, you'd be able to hit them. Your oh, train okay, is yeah. a two by two. Yeah, I'll do my choo-choo train. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in my 14. Okay. And I will ride the train with it. How far does it go? Range of five. One, two, three, four, five. You bump into all these ducks. Ah, they all like scatter kind of in random directions. It doesn't look like they took very much damage. It's Quentin. What's oh, your right. magic? It's number eight. Fall in love with the person closest to you. A hey rainbow there, rainbow octo clatter. <laughs> You're looking awfully collectible to me. Oh, thank you very much. And I'm gonna roll for a potion. You can make a potion to do anything you want, and you roll for that, but you start with a wild magic potion. Okay. Seven. A terrible knockoff version of your favorite anime Cam Cain character is summoned. Shadow the Hedgehog. That's oh, not an anime campaign man. character. Do Allison, but a terrible right. knockoff, so just Allison. All right. Where do you want him? <laughs> There's a terrible knockoff, Allison. I'm going to control him because I refuse to give you Quentin and Allison in one <laughs> Do I still do a turn thing? I guess I do. Yeah, uh, th that yeah, was those just, were just your your passives. Oh, I guess I'll ask out Octo Clacker. <laughs> 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 you, you lean over and go, hey there, Octo Clacker, want a smooch? And he goes, he just like spins around and clacks you several times across yeah, the yeah, face. Clack, clack, clack. You take one damage and 20 shame damage. Yeah. You take an emotional crit. And Quinoa can do something. Okay. Um, Mom, stop calling me. Mom, <laughs> I'm worried about you. I'm fine, Ma. You can't just call me on a date like Giovanni, this. Giovanni, I was gonna say, do you want the intercom on during this, but this is a date? Hello, I'm dating your son. Stop paying people to lie, Giovanni. <laughs> you know I didn't bring money anyways. Why don't you bring money? You should always bring money in your phone, you idiot. Giovanni hands up on his mom. Agatha. Move over here and use chalk it up on um, these this 
four, two by two here. Nice. That's pretty good. Can you read the description of that to me? Throw an old magic eraser that explodes into a cloud of chalk dust in a two by two square. Dust makes it hard for targets to see and sends them into coughing fits. Anyone wearing glasses or goggles is unaffected. NPCs, Molly's just gonna go for gold here. One, two, three, four. She's gonna use uh, World is Quiet here to power herself up and she's just gonna attempt to go for Ducky next turn. Nope, doesn't work. Naven doesn't really have anyone to throw apples at. So he's like, fetch boys, and throws apples to the top right of them. He throws an apple. The green one is very tempted to go after that apple. <laughs> Sylvie. Dream a little Jean. So I'm just gonna put them here and here so they're not in the smoke. And I am gonna move. We can move through friendly NPCs, right? Yeah, okay. through friendly ones. One, two, three. Four, five, and I'm a kid, so I get six. So I'm gonna move over here at six. Ducky Malone's turn. Ducky Malone can do several things. Um, I think first he's just gonna order, all right, men, square up. Don't let him get through. Yeah, all right, boss, you got it. One, two, three, one, two. Well, Molly's here, so he's gonna block her. Uh, these guys are coughing. Let's see how badly they are injured. Uh, I'll let three of them move a little, but they're they're having a real rough time. Picky Packers are going to group up. Oh, let's see if this one can resist the temptations of the apple. Oh, he has never wa he never <laughs> wants to look at an apple again. He will never shirk his duty. Ducky Malone is going to use rod the waves, baby, and he wiggles his finger. Let's see what happens. Um, not much. It's just good enough. So the ocean currents kind of push you guys back. So every friendly NPC is moved back one space and that is their turn. Since my plastic is a two by two, I'm going to throw some plastic right here. So against these three. No. No. Nope. The water is really messing this up. You usually don't open things underwater. It's bad for the condition. Remember to move Octo Clacker. Grab people. He's on him to come up here and I want him to try and like wrestle with this guy. <laughs> he shakes his hand. They're familiar. <laughs> yeah, hey there, Rainbow. How you doing? I am doing quite well. I'm a feline here and roll for infiltrate ranks pretending to be a duck. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. You have spent so much time with quinoa that you have become a bird in many ways. You don your duck hat, which you flip <laughs> out your fishing hat and it's bright yellow. You uh, grease up your mustache with some snake oil so it sticks out in a way that kind of from the side looks like a duck beak. They <laughs> think you are one of them. Give me your best duck impression. Quack, quack. Too old to be a duckling. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy gets it. He's one of us. He was. He's also gonna be in the ranks and try and influence the ducks to let us through. Uh, most of them are pretty distracted already. So all these ones that are like coughing up a storm, the smoke sort of clears and they see Quinoa dressed in Bugs Bunny drag there like, <laughs> Quinoa! And they're like, oh, that's the people. <laughs> and they're on board. So it looks like most of the ducklings think you're on, on their side. Oh wait, I gotta draw pictures, knock off Allison. Oh, boy. Charade <laughs> excites Desuka. How about this? I will give you five lines every round. Oh, okay. All right, that's five. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm on a guess. Happy. No. All right, I guessed, Agatha. Moving up here and using chalk wand on the one diagonally up from me. He bounces away like a bumper car. Again, <laughs> doesn't look like he took any damage. Molly is just gonna try and get rid of this duckling. Um, it gets Molly, small. Try. It's not down though. It's like small and sentient, see? Naven sees that his apples go unattended and just walks past the ducklings, like giving a little like, good day, nod. Yeah, have a nice one. Wait, hang on, we're supposed to stop these guys. Oh no. He throws a bunch of apples at Ducky's feet. Yeah, there's like two of them. Uh, the non-green are still like, mm, apples. We gotta extend our necks and get those. Yeah, they're not quite into it. All right, that's the NPCs. Selvi. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to use Counting Sheep on Ducky Malone. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh boy. 
<laughs> He's like really drowsy. Looks like he might fall asleep in a turn or so. Now my sheepy sheeps. So most of these ducks are like pacified by... Honestly, they don't seem like they're attacking you anyway. The hippos and ducky look like they might though. How fast can my sheep move? I think I usually give them five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah. left one on orange, right one on yellow. Each of them take two. That's my turn. You can't get <laughs> yellow down, sheep. <laughs> Those two are immediately going to retaliate and they are going to simultaneously shoot their necks out, pushing anyone backwards who is in front of them. Uh, so the sheep is gonna take, I think it's six damage. So the sheep takes six damage. I'm gonna let it die. I'm not taking the six. Okay. And you guys get pushed back. This one is aiming only at the sheep, so that's another six. You want it to go down? Uh, yeah, I'm not taking that six. This one sees Sylvie. He sees their game. He's gonna shoot his neck at Sylvie. No, totally misses. Does nothing. I played with you before. You can't hit me. <sighs> He's right. Uh, this one also resists the call of the apples very well. He is going to try and knock the apples out of Naven's person. He doesn't know where they are. He reaches his neck in <laughs> and eats like 70 apples. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you pack hammer space into your cape. The ducks are going to, again, just form a wall. Yeah, this one's trying his best. He tries to block Molly. <laughs> that's as far as they can go. What will Ducky do? He will use his pool floaty motorcycle. So he sprints out at her oh, and sprints back and runs into her once. Molly takes seven damage, and this duck goes flying. Hey, good shot, boss! And lands in the diner. Plenty. Is Ducky Malone asleep yet, or no? I'll say he's asleep. I'm going to attempt to plastic wrap these two hippos. Uh. Um, I'll give you one of them. It covers his mouth. There Which one are. do you want? Um, the one next to Molly. This is barely visible. He's gonna yeah. come up here and fight this duck. Okay. Roll to fight duck. Yay! Oh, it is time for fisty cups. Oh yeah, fisty cups. Good practice. Yeah, let's let's go over here and let's uh, let's do that. Whoop. They they have a sparring match. All right. Quentin. Roll to convince them that the orders came through and we're allowed to get through the di the gate. The duck orders. Okay. <laughs> oh boy! I will also give you a proficiency buff for that because your your epithet is very off kilter so it's kind of hard to judge when you are and are not using it the hippos are like whoa that's pretty confusing i guess we gotta let him through they seem convinced ducky's asleep i guess our boss is asleep so uh green's gonna look at this the sun <laughs> yes the sun starts drying up the ocean <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna have to roll for that roll for dry up the ocean get a one no, not at all. With Millie making an infinite ocean, there's no way. Man, if you got a 20 on that. That'd be amazing. Agatha. Yeah, it looks like we can just go now, so. Yeah, right? <laughs> you can pass through them right now. They think you're friendly. And use Serum Theorem on the sleeping ducky. Uh, you miss, which is good, because that looks real suspicious. Do not mess with the ducky, guys. Molly catches what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Sylvie. I guess, I guess the battle's over, I guess. But I got into sleep, so can I leave a parting gift? Because the thing uh, about Waking Nightmare is if the enemy's asleep, it gets buffed. You can I, do what you want. As I'm leaving, I want to Waking Nightmare duck him alone with a buff, since All right, being you're gonna try and it. summon his worst fear. Yep. All right, well, I don't seem to be able to find that, so I am just gonna use a giant koi fish to represent this. Uh, you summon a very large puffer fish that could probably <laughs> pop something made of rubber. It kind of looks benevolent right now, and it's just floating around aimlessly. Let's see if he wakes up. Eh, he'll kind of like foggily wake up. What is that? What is that? <laughs> All right, Lenny, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Can we move twice or is it just the ones? You can move twice if you don't act. One, two, three, four, I'm out. Quentin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess I'll leave Octo Clacker behind to hang out with the duck. It's where okay. he truly belongs. It's where he belongs in nature. Right. I think he won't you, lose you, like five. Yeah, you can both get he out. Can if you're fly. just if you're just leaving, you can say. Agatha, you gonna leave? Yep. Uh, Good 20 goes to you. skip combat. combat. Combat is over. 
Uh, no experience, because you did not fight yeah, anybody. Yeah, no kills either. No. Since apparently my train does no damage to ducks. Oh, the whole thing about that is those little ducks just don't take damage. Yeah, I'm- They oh. don't do damage, they don't take damage, they are just there to be obstacles. My Fuck. goal of Sylvie is to always go for the boss and try to get a waking nightmare from them. I'm also gonna give you specifically one more proficiency. Wow! Because you, you did surpass that battle which gives you this ability. Allow me to assist one anytime action. Add your, oh, own bizarre, <laughs> add your own bizarre touch to anything a party member or enemy is attempting to do. <laughs> you can do this once per round, becomes unstable with repeated use. You should have had the little restaurant serving soup and Giovanni's just there nonchalant trying to disguise himself again. I totally should have. Originally, they were gonna just astral project themselves in so you could like visibly fuck with them, but like, I don't wanna keep adding them in and out of maps. All right. You come into a very, very discombobulated looking workshop full of toys and other power tools. There's shit hanging from the ceilings and like random doll parts. It's a little creepy, honestly. This actual music is playing from a box in the back somewhere. Uh, you walk in and there is a ratty looking man with a blonde beard filled with nuts and bolts and oil. I'm uh, just gonna walk in and rob him, huh? All right, you take the B. <laughs> Something explodes in the back. Whoop! Ah, another explosion. Oh, hey! Oh, Molly! Hey! Oh, hey everyone, this is my dad. Hey, Naven, how you doing? Oh, pretty good, Mr. Blind Def. Hey, my name's Marty! Martin, do uh, people who aren't my friends, but I guess that's you now, you're my friends. Ha! Ah, oh, oh, careful there, careful there. <laughs> A lot is not stable here in the workshop. Most snake things are. Snake oil? I'm an expert on snake oil. Oh, oh you look are. like a snake oil man. Whoops, something just blew up. <laughs> Hang on. He does not seem to care. Part of his beard's on fire. Hey, Dad, did Millie come through here? Millie? Oh, she doing her little Millie thing again? Yeah, you should tell her to not do that. Well, she doesn't affect my shop, so I don't care. Okay. Wait, so like you're Millie and Molly's dad? Last time I checked. Did you know when you gave money to Mira at the regional Just below that she a was minute. a criminal? Wait a minute, I know you. Look at his cute little face. He like pinches your cheek. Ow, Wait. ow, ow. Molly, did you bring home a cute little boyfriend? Do I hear wedding bells over here? That's fine as long as you're paying for it. <laughs> I'm kidding, mostly. What? No, there's nothing. He tries to hold his blushing. Let's see how, I want to see how well. Molly like hides her face in her bare hoodie. Ah, uh, good old Martin, always the same. Call me Marty, Naven. Okay. Did no. Howie come through here? Howie. Oh, yeah. Came through, told me, like, blah, blah, blah. You're a bad dad. Talk to Millie. Control your kids. Ha! <laughs> you know, Howieisms. Oh, I'm from the South. I eat bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, check this thing out. Making a new uh, mech robot for the government or something. Lenny's eyes widen. Fascinating. Robots are basically just big toys. You want to see what this one can do? Naven gives yes. him a look like, should you be telling us this? Oh, uh, I guess this is probably a secret project. So anyway, check out these force fields. How much? I'm afraid you can't buy this. It, it's, it's not on the line yet. Not, not yet anyway. This is just the prototype. You probably wouldn't want it either. See, uh, see my eyebrows? He has no eyebrows. Exactly! It's dangerous! You're very eccentric. Not the type of person I would think to be related to Molly. Ah, nah. Billy takes after me. Molly takes after her mother. Her dear departed mother. He, like, both he and Molly put a hand to their heart and look down for a second. Anyway, Molly, good timing. Now that you're here, it's, uh, it's that time of the week. You gotta clear out the back closet. Dad, I don't know. How does Millie do it? Oh, you know, it's never Millie's turn to do this. Yes, Dad. She loves the closet. Come on, come on. Dad, it's just gonna be the clown thing. No. Look, no. It's look, not gonna be the clown thing. It's Roll okay. For... I'll do it. Don't worry. You don't have to worry. No, that's not the closet. The closet's down here, kid. Bottom right. Oh. You might not be able to see it. Oh, sorry. Is this the closet this. right over here? Yeah, it's this one, right over that dangerous pit. <laughs> Sylvie, it's just, there's like a thing on the other side of it. It's just a dumb joke. Ain't a dumb joke! Clean uh, out the closet! Sylvie, I'll fun. open it! You open you the open door really beautifully well. with full <laughs> confidence until you see this fucking terrifying thing that yeah. groins out at you and has a knife. Yep, there it is. Yep. Oh, it never gets old. Back when Minnie, uh, the, the missus that is, was alive, she'd always be like, ah, don't show that to Molly, you're gonna traumatize her. But now Molly loves clowns. 
Lucy! That's horrifying. Lenny's eyes glisten as he notices something fuzzy and yellow in there. And he's like, all right, it's my turn. I'm going in. He you got it. Three what? Around <laughs> well, I was going right, to make like, sure this thing wasn't just going to get me, but all right. I got to be cool. It's inanimate. Cool. It doesn't look like anything in here has been affected by Millie. How are you allowed to take care of kids? Now he says I shouldn't. Naven says I shouldn't. You shouldn't. Look at this place. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Well, he's fine for taking care of kids. <laughs> I'm gonna just spitball and ask, do you have anything that would help us, you know, take care of Millie's rampage with your toy store? Because she's kind of taken over. Ah, uh, just give her some time. She always burns herself out. No, she doesn't. I always have to deal with her. Yeah, see? Burns herself out. Dad, you don't listen to me. Nope. He continues working. Yes, sir, but there's one thing you don't realize. She has... He pushes up his glasses. A husband now. A husband? Yeah. Millie got herself a husband? Yep. Is he praying for the wedding? Ah, I'm kidding. Or am I? Well, I tried. Oh, well, well. I guess I better contact her. Molly, give me your cell phone. Okay. <laughs> ring, ring. Hey! Hey, Millie! Hey, Dad! It's your dad! I, I know, you have a very recognizable voice. Yep, worn by years of smoke and inhalations of explosions into my lungs. I heard you got yourself a husband now. Oh my god, you heard? Surprise! What? <laughs> What's his name? Put him on the phone! Put him on the phone! You put him on the phone? Hello, it's me! <laughs> Who is this? Hey! <laughs> that sounds a lot like my favorite customer, Mr. Quentin! Surprise! It's well, me! <laughs> are you marrying my daughter, or is this just a prank? Gotcha! Ah, oh, you! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> is there an aura of like epithet coming from Molly's dad? Oh no, there's a smell. Well, can't One. psychoanalyze that. I mean, you can. Sure, why not? Hey, what are you doing, kid? You look into his weird eyes that have two yellow pupils, which okay. kind of match Molly's that have four and Millie's that have three. What is the most recent childhood memory you have? Well, I've always been a child at art, so I guess Brink and Molly back there was pretty good. We're gonna play some word association. You say the okay. first word that comes to mind. Quentin! Quentin! <laughs> Toys. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Molly. Daughter. Why have you not hung up the phone? I can hear you! Mira. Ah. Quentin! Apples? Okay, he's clean. You're, you didn't know she was a criminal. I forgive you. I'm not clean! Ah! <laughs> Molly, how bad do I smell? Five Come days on. bad. Yep, that's about right. Continue <laughs> smelling. We should leave. Dad, can I have my cell phone back? He doesn't seem to hear her. Okay. If Feeny calls, then... Whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever understand his mind. No. My dad's weird. He is building a robot. That's pretty impressive. So you guys walk out. Oh, you are I'll now on the. the other one. You are now. Do not. You are several hundred. <laughs> you are several hundred feet above the ocean. ocean! You will go just plunge into the ocean and probably right. die. You you plunge into the ocean. <laughs> what? They can't see you anymore. I'm sure you'll be back. You guys walk out onto a crystalline staircase that's just sort of looking over the ocean. You're a lot higher up than you thought you were. Is he just gone? <laughs> yeah, he just jumped off into the yeah, ocean that was hundreds of feet below. Plaster, give me a roll. Bye, people. <laughs> see you later. Oh, it's in. That's about his swimming skill. <laughs> All right, you take 16 damage from the fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. So, you guys hear that The Incredibles 2 is gonna come out, right? <laughs> yeah! I'm super, I'm super excited. I hear I heard all the stuff like they're gonna be like more grown up and like they're gonna do stuff with that. Like it's gonna be really neat. Kind of yeah, like Toy Story where they waited like 10 years for Andy to grow up like in real time or whatever. It's pretty amazing. Oh no, we gotta get Finding Dory first. Ooh! <laughs> I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of Finding Nemo in the first place, but then Dory's not even like 
anybody's favorite character, at least wasn't mine. Eh, people just like her because she's Ellen DeGeneres. She's <laughs> hey, look, Quentin's back. You guys wait up here for 30 minutes for Quentin to get out there. Good news, no bees. How are you not dead yet? Does Quentin have that minus 16 or not? He sure as fuck does. He sure I does. He did that to himself. Good for the digestion. <laughs> <laughs> Naven is gonna try one time to patch you up with apples. It heals five. He builds up. This door's open. All right. Agatha goes ahead. <laughs> All right. Into the darkness. You guys walk into this big green crystal palace, and as you walk in, you all fall into this massive trap filled with buzz saws and a swinging pendulum, including Molly and Naven. Oh, jeez. And there's pretty much no way to get out of this. These are gonna hit you, and then all of a sudden, from the other side of the room, oh, hello, Molly. You notice a rat man on a throne, and you can see the entire area. Oh, hi, Gimcrack. That's hey. my pet mouse. Sometimes Millie includes him in this business. Yes, hello. I am the king of the toys because I am technically the most sentient. Oh, remove the traps. We don't want to kill them. Uh, the traps all retract into the ground. Come have oh. tea. Hey, everybody. Howie says eating tea. That's Just fun. bite in the cup. He's, he's biting into the cup. Howie, I have a bee for you if you want it. Agatha grabs this other bee. So do I, I it seems. If you had a bee, just add stamina. <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> Vandalism! Hey there, um, Gimcrack, Mr. G I don't know how you want me to address you. Just Gimcrack is fine for Molly's friends. She takes care of me and feeds me pellets. I love her very much. She's a really nice girl, and I didn't know she had a pet. Um, but I wanted to ask you, would, are you helping Millie at all, or...? Oh, Millie knows that I am the most sentient because I have been in about five or six of her little worlds. So I am the smartest toy because I am not a toy. So I'm in charge of the toys. These are my gem minions. I am kind of an overlord, but do not tell Millie I said this, but I like Molly more because she gives me more pellets. Mm, well, I'm not supposed to, but I do because this keeps happening. We just kind of wanted to know where Millie was if you weren't against telling us. We want oh, to try to sure. get to that airship first. He hops off his throne and is way shorter than you thought he was. He hops over to the window and points up. She's still in the sky. I'm supposed to stop you here, like I stopped Howie. He, he stopped me with interpersonal communication skills. <laughs> you know, that's actually how we got past the ducks. See, I was right. I like the cut of your jib, green man. I also like the cut of your <laughs> jib. You can't tell who's talking. <laughs> <laughs> So Millie just makes your rat speak like Naven, doesn't she, Molly? Oh no, he always speaks. Haha, -ha, just kidding. Yeah, she does that. Mm, um, Mr. What um, joke? Thank you. Crack. She was actually about to be sad that no one laughed. <laughs> 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 you mind if we look around your palace for a little bit? I kind of oh. noticed these doors. Yes, there are miles and miles of palace. It is a wonderland. We have hot tubs and other such accoutrements, but if you want to get up there, I might be able to help you. Gemlings, assemble! All these little crystals that sort of make Luma noises, they all group up. I don't exactly have any sort of device to get you up there, but I can make a... I wouldn't be in there if you know what's good for you. <laughs> as, we, as we've established, she doesn't. All right. <laughs> Well, good luck to- Oh, I know you! You sometimes randomly appear in my room! Quentin, Toys! please stop- Please stop going into our house part of the store. <laughs> he also feeds me pellets, and one time a shoe! And a nickel! So these gemlings <laughs> all group up and form one especially large gem lord. Oh god. Like, even larger. Pearlpug! Oh. He's, he's a very, very big. He's a very big gem lord. My minions will be able to throw you up to the sky. Probably. He shrugs. You know, I saw that in a really shitty webcomic and it didn't really turn out well. <laughs> Good joke. Well, I guess just hop on and he'll throw you all up there. This seems Dibs incredibly... on the shoulder. Is this gonna hurt? I don't know, I've never done this. This is a terrible idea. 
<laughs> Why are we accepting this? Goodbye! He throws you into the sky. Yeah! All right, all right Rubes, you guys have some air time before you <laughs> land on the ship. Lenny puts his arm out like Superman. Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Hmm, this is taking a while. I don't own a television. When we get out of here, Howie, we're gonna get you a television. Actually, I think Howie would be better off if we got him a DVD player and a copy of The Incredibles. I mean, everybody should see that movie. Or really? I mean, you can give me a DVD player, but I don't have a TV. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta use your imagination with that movie. I am good at that! Roll yeah. for Imagine the Incredibles. <laughs> Imagine the Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> You have never heard of this. You don't know it's a film. You don't know it's a movie. Watch this TV. You imagine the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite character, Quentin? Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> We've been flying for like minutes. You know, this is probably why Giovanni kept missing with his baseballs. He's really high up. You finally see the ship in the distance, and you come in for landing. You guys land with a surprisingly soft landing due to Molly using her powers on pain. There are a bunch of soldiers dressed up in baseball outfits. Oh, I've heard of this sport. <laughs> Roll for bluff. Roll for bluff. <laughs> yes, this is that sport that's on the television. Another noun I know a lot about. <laughs> this guy piloting the ship behind you goes, Hello, and welcome to the SS Murder. I am teammate number four, and the MVP who pilots the ship. Hello! Do you like baseball? That word seemed weird, like it was programmed into him awkwardly. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like Giovanni's voice, like, recorded over yeah. it. Do you like <laughs> baseball? <laughs> you guys look down there in what is clearly a baseball diamond carved out in the deck of this ship, and there stands Vincent Murder. <laughs> He's standing with his hands on his hips, looking smug. Millie is a ways back behind him, bouncing up and down excitedly. A gleam happens in Lenny's eye. Oh my god, is this the baseball episode? Is that what we're doing? I think this entire episode is the baseball episode. Oh my god. Well, since I'm in it, it has to be the baseball episode or it'd be a crime. That's pretty great, actually. Thanks. All right, you're gonna... Check out this joke. Short. Stop. That was a baseball reference. I got it! <laughs> For once in his life, Giovanni is not the biggest loser in a room. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we get on with this? I want to go home and sleep. Well, sure! I'm quite positive you guys would have never guessed it, but my real name is Giovanni Portage! I don't know who that is, but okay. I don't know. It's a it real big deal, I assure you. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, sorry, I forgot the cue. Um, ooh, Giovanni Potage. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really shocking, Giovanni. Almost as shocking as when you lost that match at Regional Below. Hey, your match, you just cuddled with sheep for like 20 minutes. And I still won. Who's Giovanni? I'm Giovanni. Giovanni's my boyfriend husband. <laughs> Giovanni has no idea how to respond to that, so he doesn't. <laughs> All right, I know you took the necklace with the Vinya. Where is it? What? The necklace you stole from Mira. We had a big fight. Oh yeah, that thing. I gave it to some higher up. They took it from me forcibly, actually. Some other Bushido blaster has it. Those things go through the ranks like crazy. I didn't know the Bushido blasters had ranks. Yeah. I'm pretty high up there, but not the highest up. I'm kind of a big deal. Well, good for you. You can't tell if Nathan is serious or not. Stop doing home runs, Ralphie! <laughs> <laughs> you guys, stop ruining his big moment! Something, like, whisks you back into place, and you can see Millie, like, moving around a little bit. He's the bad guy, so here he comes. He's gonna get you. Good luck, hon! Wait, you're not helping? No, you can do it. I have confidence. Giovanni dies. Giovanni <laughs> looks at you. He is the exact same Giovanni you fought the first time. Oh, <laughs> it's me, Giovanni Potage. I even get a nameplate. That is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. The 
I made him? that for him. Oh. That was in universe. All right, roll for initiative. The battle begins. Agatha seems sick of this shit. Uh, casting Serum Theorem. <laughs> Instead of casting Serum Theorem, you walk up and begin teaching him about geometry. He doesn't look very interested. <laughs> the teammates look around like, Ah, it is time for baseball. We will now cheer on. Cheer on. <laughs> <laughs> they walk to the edges, and in a single, monotonous, kind of unpleasant cheer, go, Yes! Yes! Get the... <laughs> baseball! Yes! Yes! <laughs> it seems very clear none of them have any idea what anything is. Same, my friend. All the people in the crowd are cheering for me! One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. Molly ignores him and walks towards Millie. <laughs> Howie looks around and sees all the cannons everywhere and is like, Nope. Three, four, five. Howie moves twice per turn. One, two, three, four, five. Naven, he's gonna push Quentin out of the way. I get the duck for a moment. Bat her up! And he lobs a softball baseball at Giovanni. Should I roll to see if Giovanni even... Yep. Oh, shit! He does the Babe Ruth point and then bats it with his baseball bat that has knives in it. Uh, Naven turns over and looks at Quentin, who is, like, waterlogged and dying. Oh, I forgot you almost drowned. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the, that's the NPCs. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, Giovanni. I don't really care. <laughs> oh! I. <laughs> You're just <not> right. <laughs> I forgot you can move twice. Molly will also move twice. Two, you, three. You guys, this six. is my big combat. And hang on, if Howie can move twice, uh, two times, he'll just go over here, and he will be on this uh cannon. Quentin, sixty-seven. <laughs> hang on, what is it? <laughs> oh no, that's awesome! It's high noon. <laughs> All enemies in your line of sight take five damage. Wait, what the fuck was that? Giovanni and all the teammates and Millie take five damage. 37 for the shitty potion. I'm just gonna let it happen. You yep, drink it immediately. You use... Oh, okay. Switch bodies with the person nearest to you. You and Lenny change bodies. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now Quentin is in control of Lenny, and Lenny is in control of Quentin. Oh, Jesus. Well, I will give you control of each other. Uh, the controlling player will move them. The actual player will act okay. with no input between those. Mm -hmm. Wow, we that's can't great. Keen, is Quentin going to move this turn? No, Quentin will stay here. <laughs> Lenny, For once move. in his life, Quentin stays Plaster. still. <laughs> Plaster does Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got a plan. Fuck you, Plaster. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny, what's your action? I'm gonna throw toys from the fanny pack at Giovanni, I guess. That you haven't it. gotten any new ponies! You're a shit collector! This is all my garbage stuff, that's why I'm throwing it, idiot! Millie sees you guys ignoring Giovanni, and it's like, no, 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 you guys, you guys stop! We totally planned this, and you're- It's really rude to waste each other's time. Howie glares at her like he wants her to die. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Giovanni. We'll do like the backup plan that you wanted to do or power you up or whatever. But I really think you could do it on your own. And I think you need the confidence boost, if I'm being honest. And also, you need to eat more. You're so skinny. Uh, she snaps her fingers again. And a lot of business happens at once. The ship sort of roils to life a little bit. And the cannons no longer need anyone to man them. The teammates suddenly look way more competent. Millie regains her health. Giovanni not only regains the small amount of health he's lost, he gets a lot of health. He gets a lot of health. And you know what? He gets big. Giovanni gets very big. Can I allow me to assist? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> there you go. Aww, that's cute. Really They're really cute. Giovanni, it's your turn. Oh yeah! Let me scroll down on this invisible Google Docs card. I gave you the notes right there for what you can do now. Thanks, Cinnamon. Bunny? <laughs> That's how you do those, right? Yeah, combine two nouns that you either like think are fluffy or you want to eat. All right, I think that was pretty good. Yeah, I think good I job. Throw up. Roll for not throw up. You don't throw Stop up. Stop stealing my number! 
<laughs> Man, that would have been a 13 too for Giovanni. Oh well. <laughs> Glad I said that. <laughs> I don't mess around. One, two. This guy doesn't mess around. Five. Giovanni Please. raises his bat, which you see is just completely knives now, and he hits Sylvie with it. That's pretty good. Molly sees that coming and is like, uh, no. So she is going to use I'm with stupid again. It would have done 16 because he's giant. So uh, she is going to take that away a little bit. So Sylvie only takes, I'm going to give him six damage and 10 damage goes back to Giovanni. What? Let's make it three damage. That wasn't a great roll. Thanks for having <laughs> my back, Molly. Yeah, I can't do that again, so <laughs> watch out. Don't, Good luck. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll take care of the big guy. You just work on your sister. Okay. If you come up here and ruin this for me, I am never gonna forgive you, ever. Stop doing this while people are in our shop. You stop doing this. You stop, they start bickering. This is worse than when I talk to my mom. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the bottom of the ocean, Giovanni! <laughs> Giovanni's powered up. Oh, he does get two He's an moves MVP. around now. He's Binge going to use lava grenade on Molly. Throw a steaming red orb of boiling soup at your enemy. Does seven damage and three splash damage to any adjacent square. Goddamn. All right. Uh, that lands on Molly. Ah! Uh, soup! <laughs> Good shot, but like, okay, I don't, I don't like her, but maybe don't attack my sister first, at least. Oh. Like, Okay. Just like throw her into the ocean or something. <laughs> it's cool. She can like reduce damage or whatever the hell. Yeah. So just throw lava at me. Whatever. I don't care. That doesn't make <laughs> it nice. I'm going to run up here and try once again to cast Serum Theorem on Giovanni. Stop oh. waving your math wand at me, Zork. <laughs> you know what? You've gotten so... I'm just going to let that one hit. He's got so uh, many bad rolls. It's yeah, yeah, no, it's it's costing you. So I will give that six damage because he's big. Like, it's hard to miss. It is Millie's turn. She'll just use Fortify right now. And she is going to try and heal all allies within earshot by five damage. Eh, they all get two back. Wait, am I in earshot? Uh, oh, actually, no, because any enemies within two spaces of Molly do not get it because of her deafening powers. I feel attacked. NPCs. Well, Molly's gonna get out of here and just gonna walk over this way. <clears throat> There's no staircase. Yup. Genius design. <sighs> You're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Naven is going to feed two apples to Quentin. Okay, Quentin gets eight health back. Howie looks at this can and goes, hmm, shoddy craftsmanship. Also, it's clearly a baseball pitcher modified into a cannon. Very cute. Yeah, very <laughs> genius of me. <laughs> Everyone hates you. He takes out his wrench and hits it. He hits it again. Uh, 20 damage. Sylvie. I'm gonna use counting sheep on Giovanni to put him asleep. Please, no, I'm not. Dude, no. there's Every one. Stairs We're all stairs except here. Right, Two, right three, in front of Millie. Four, five, six. Where would Lenny move if Lenny was in Quentin's body? <laughs> you would just get on the floor and cry. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Last year, you can still control King Yeah. Three, four, five. I guess I will do a snake oil potion and get ready. All right, are you trying to uh, make a snake oil of your own design or do you want a wild magic? No, that's wild magic. Let's drink it. You drink it and permanently gain three stamina. Nice. Nice. He was gonna pitch to Naven. Naven has no item with which to hit back. <laughs> so he, he has an apple. <laughs> he uh, very quickly attempts to pirouette and hit it with his cape. It bounces this way. So there's just a baseball near Giovanni. You could Every say time... I've been souped up. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, all right. <laughs> oh. That's where you get to be, Lenny. I guess I'll attack Giovanni. Um, I'll you throw could, you plastic on him. on him. You walk over and Quentin in your body goes, ooh, ooh, and dances in the plastic, making a cape out of it. <laughs> it's not even wound tight enough to be armor. You just have plastic on you now. <laughs> Giovanni! Let me size up the arena real quick. I should have done this before. It's still a baseball diamond, hun. I'm doing measurements like in math. Ugh. See? Math. Are you okay? What? You're, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. 
No, it's really obvious because you're giant. Do you want me to come over there and console you? No, you stay right there. You're fine right there. Okay. So, first of all, Giovanni's going to throw a uh, lava grenade what? between Quentin and Quinoa. Allow me to assist! Uh, I was going right. to assist and turn it into candy, but... I will let that hit Quentin. Oh, <laughs> I misread that situation. All right, I just saw that one as Giovanni's. No, nope. that was... No, 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 that's me. Okay, in that case... I'm going to assist. Wink. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, take 14, because you're being hit by both both of you. Uh, Molly sees that and is gonna attempt to power it down. Nope. Anyone else want to try and interrupt that? I have no interrupts. Is it too late for me to snatch it out of the air and pocket it? No, it is not. Oh. I will totally do that. Oh, cool. Since it's the final boss anyway. <laughs> nope. Right, nope, no one prevented anything. Three is our oh, favorite okay. today. <laughs> Jella, when you undoubtedly watch this campaign again, count the number of threes and fours. Yeah. No thanks. It's, it's been sad. So now it's time for my special attack that you didn't see before, Blade of Demise! And Agatha, because she's trying to put math in my brain and I don't like it. All right, you bat a knife with your knife bat. That's not good enough. And it clips into this cannon. Doesn't do any damage to it. Good shot, Captain Giovanni. Well, Taj, should I say my last name or please re-record this message? <laughs> Agatha. I'm going to Pythagoras boots my way I, up I think here. Teammate... And I'm going to try a third time to cast Serum Theorem. Can I ask why you always get up next to enemies before you do that? That has like a range of five. Oh. <laughs> well, um, I don't have any range written for Serum Theorem. Oh, it's five, sorry. Okay. I was wondering why you were always doing that. I cannot give it to you on a two. Yeah. You realize you've been out of chalk for about seven spells, <laughs> which is why it keeps fucking up. Luckily, there's plenty of chalk on this field. And in fact, there is a giant geometric I shape drawn chalk. in chalk. Millie's turn. Millie's going to walk over here. She'll try and help out this teammate. Nope, didn't quite work. Uh, these two teammates both see how it's like, Hey there, friend. Do not deface our cannons. So they both chuck baseballs at him. He takes eight damage. He totally looks completely unfazed. <laughs> this one is going to chuck one at Naven. Bottom left. Nope. Goes totally wide, right into the lava. This one on the left is going to walk up to Sylvie and try and push him onto the base. We need a third baseman. This one tries to do the same to Molly. First baseman, activate. No, no, I want to go talk to Millie. Millie is our water boy. <laughs> Cannon top left fires off, and let's see if this hits anything. No, nope, not good enough. All right, Molly is going to try and just turn this guy off. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. Hey, that was Gerard. He was number 12. I have some bad news. Your baseball team has lost a member. You're no longer eligible to play. All of the teammates start worrying and clicking terrified. <laughs> we Whoa. got him now. Don't listen to them. This is a crisis. The big game is tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Naven walks over, takes a stick out of his cape, spears a few apples on it, and roasts them for baked apples. Oh my god! <laughs> he drops it right in the lava. <laughs> you know, I was wondering why my cape was so uncomfortable. Probably shouldn't have kept a stick in there. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin is burning. Silky! Good one! One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to yep. try to put Giovanni to sleep again. Stop! Oh. Woo! He falls asleep, standing up, leaning on his knife baseball bat. This could be a disaster if he falls the wrong way. Quentin, might want to get out of the lava there. Probably. <laughs> Especially because Lenny is in your body. I'm going to get him, like, <laughs> over here, out of the lava. All right, roll for getting out of lava. You are immune to lava. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, what is that? I, thought I, I thought I had to roll, so it rolled. It just took Way to go. You, you are super immune, immune to lava. lava. <laughs> I am from lava. <laughs> Keen was gonna be the pinch hitter, and he's gonna try and hit it at Giovanni. What is it? It. Baseball. The baseball. The baseball. <laughs> you have a baseball? There's probably one sitting there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You go, I know her! Get on your knees and slowly roll the baseball into the lava like a bullet. 
I guess I can interrupt that. Allow me to assist with that baseball. Are you interrupting? <laughs> Quinoa begins choking on the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you have the worst fucking rolls, plus. Well, Flash <laughs> has control of your movement. How long does this go on for? On the next round, it'll go away. Oh, oh Babe Ruth, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Giovanni is dreaming of Babe Ruth. Giovanni, roll for not having an erection right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is epic news. Uh, Millie is going to use her augment powers. Man, no. is her dick enormous. No, stop. <laughs> no. All right, Agatha, you have to watch out. If Giovanni turns to his left, you'll get smacked in the face. <laughs> You can attempt to throw, because he's giant. Eh, it's four, okay, whatever. We'll All right, along. Giovanni, try to wake up and not have a, a boner anymore. <laughs> nope, you're still asleep and still fully erect. Giovanni, try again, you get two turns. You're kind of rousing, but man, babe <laughs> Ruth. Oh, you're all right. Kind of roused. I didn't know you were such a oh, babe God. Ruth. Agatha. First, I'm going to move out of range of penis. <laughs> <laughs> Then, full of listless ennui, Agatha's going to say a prayer to Euclid for some kind of help. That's a pretty good prayer. And you, you are standing in geometry. Euclid hears your prayer. A massive evil force moves Quentin a little and moves Lenny a little and pushes Naven out of here. And now that the baseball diamond has been complete, <laughs> the lava rises and goes into your wand. Serum Theorem now does 13 damage. Thank you, Euclid. So now for the one in 12 times it hits, it'll do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Millie. Millie has the power to make dreams a reality, but is a little scared to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of like admires this for a minute. It's like, okay, well that won't go away if I wake him up, I assume. So she uses standard augment powers and uses an augmented cord to attempt to wake him up. Um, He's still almost awake, but like, if his mom was trying to get him up to go to school, wouldn't be working. Five more oh. minutes with Babe Ruth! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this cannon, top left. That'll hit someone, let's see who it hits. That's gonna be Agatha, and that's eight damage, I'm pretty sure. I I'm gonna interrupt that with um, absolute value. Cool, go for it. Yeah, that's good enough. Boy, oh boy, does it do 10, so you heal for 10. Nice. You do still take the cost of using that though, so you get seven. This teammate is satisfied that there are people uh, in all the right spots. He goes over here, looks at Giovanni. Oh, a Master Giovanni, bat. you have the baseball bat. He says, <laughs> I will pitch it to you. Pitches no, at his kid. No. His arm doesn't work very well, and he just drops the ball. Hooray! Bunt. I yeah. Think. Yes. <laughs> These two are going to take another swing at Howie. Nope, neither of them hit. This yes. is going to fire yes. at Kino. That hits for four. Quentin okay. just eating damage. Quentin is I'm eating the tank. Damage. And this one is going to go over here and go, Stop! Do not pass! At Molly. Uh, this one sees Sylvie coming and stays to guard Millie. And this one will do the same. And there's one guy up here, so he'll move over here. Okay. NPCs, how he's gonna continue whacking at this cannon. Roll one. Oh, that thing's destroyed. He turns towards these guys. You are not sentient and I do not respect you. He <laughs> smacks one for 10 damage. He's not looking good. Naven, gonna try again. Uh, let's just see how much he can heal for. You get three back. Yay. <laughs> Molly's also looking pretty bad. She's actually gonna swing back, so she can either help out Naven or something. She attempts a fire at Giovanni. It's gonna need to be high. That's pretty good. That sticks on his leg, not his third leg. And uh, <laughs> the bright nerf makes him easier to hit. You now have plus four on all shots. Does that plus four count for like abilities? Yeah, anytime you're attacking him. Physic, like damage. I'm gonna use my buffed Waking Nightmare since Giovanni's still asleep. I have exactly the thing for this if I can get the image for it. My worst fear is getting caught sleeping with a boner. Oh no, to <laughs> Giovanni's boner gets big. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going with the turn while I find an image for this. Uh, All right, Quentin, I it's your turn. Move. Can he move himself yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Is back to <laughs> I'm my own man again. Oh, perfect. All right, found the image. Next what? to Giovanni. Giovanni! <laughs> <laughs> it's your mother, Giovanni. <laughs> Does Giovanni wake up? 
No, he's used to sleeping past his mom's horrible voice. Okay, Kiwon's gonna try and hack up the ball at Giovanni and get a grand slam! <laughs> you just want this to work, don't you? Why all these fours and threes? <laughs> Quinoa, I know. Quinoa continues choking. I'm gonna be nice and not have you take damage. Frustrating <laughs> <laughs> all these low numbers. Ugh. Quentin's gonna take the ball, rotate the board, and try and hit Giovanni for a grand slam! <laughs> <laughs> you hit the ball right into Quinoa's throat. <laughs> Oh that bird is good at only two things, punching and choking. Lenny. Okay, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five. My turn's over. He's Giovanni, rolled to wake up. Okay. All right, he's awake, still fully erect, with his mother <laughs> regular sized at about his dick height. I was having a good dream. I found a girlfriend and then Babe Ruth was there. But now hey. I'm back. It's and not a dream. My mom's here. Also, your little potage is really showing. What? Uh, uh, what? Dying. You got a cape, hon. Use it. Bless you, bless you. He decents himself. All right, Giovanni, you have another turn. I think it's time for me to soup up. I think this is appropriate to use boiling over. Uh, Would I have to roll? No, you don't. You guys <laughs> hear some bubbling sounds, and these grates that make up the bases, uh, they start to bubble over with lava soup. Oh, Luckily, the one Quinoa is on does not damage him because he is now immune, immune to lava. <laughs> you can sense that shit is just gonna keep rising. Uh, Agatha, you do take seven damage. I'm sure Quentin on his safari adventures has, has done some lava splunking. He's eaten enough lava. Can I get out of the lava and use Chuck Wand on Giovanni? Or will you? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Christ. These rolls are terrible. Give me a roll for perception. You see above you, it is Euclid, the god. You see him in the stars above the SS murder. I get the fuck whistle. <laughs> you have been using the powers of geometry for evil. What? R really? Yes. Torturing what else? children. What else Hot are they talk. supposed to be used for? You do not torture children with geometry. You use geometry to create devices to torture children. <laughs> oh. Do not worry, Agatha. I will send you assistance. It is your guardian angle. <laughs> Yay. Is it a cute angle? Oh. <laughs> Yay. All right, you now have a guardian angle. <laughs> it's Millie's turn. She's a horn dog. She's going to give herself x-ray vision. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> we can yep. defeat them. Just distract her with a boat. <laughs> Giovanni, can you, like, get rid of that construction of your mom? Giovanni, don't <laughs> hit your mother. <laughs> <laughs> My mother wouldn't melt. All right, well, I'll just take care of it. This cannon moves and aims at Mama Potage. <laughs> it clips her. Part of her disappears into sand. It's pretty traumatizing for Giovanni. If only there was a therapist around to talk to. This teammate goes, Ah, the bases are emptying. Do not worry, friends. I have the, uh... Melts. Giovanni. This guy over here by Lenny is gonna chuck a baseball at him. That hits. Okay, it's four damage. Molly is gonna, oh, she sees the lava rising. She's actually not gonna stay there. She's gonna shoot a target at this guy. Yeah, it's on him. He's easy to hit. Allow uh, me to exist. Uh, turn it into a boomerang that bounces. Um, Oops, another so critical as Molly, failure. As Molly, <laughs> holy shit. As Molly shoots it, it's clearly gonna hit this guy and it just turns around and sticks on her forehead. <laughs> It is now very easy to hit Molly. That being said, Naven chucks an apple at Molly. She gets healed for six. Uh, Naven, Naven goes, well, good luck, and walks away from you. Howie's gonna swing his wrench in an arc. Uh, this one's destroyed. This one takes 10. These guys are like, wow, he is scary. <laughs> one, two, three. Ah. Four, five. Hey, Lenny, you go into that cannon for a reason? No, I'm not going to the cannon. All right, cool. I'm going to blow it up. One, awesome. two, three, four, five. 
Uh, he throws his wrench. Uh, it just whizzes around in a circle and misses. It's hard to gauge with all the wind up here. Sylvie. So I don't think Giovanni's mom has that much battle potential. <laughs> no, but he seems transfixed by her. Giovanni's mom is going to attempt to nag and yell at Giovanni. What are you wearing? What is this? You look like a it's carnival a freak. Ride. No, I look like a super villain. There's a really important difference. Is that a gun in your pocket, young man? Are you turning to the gun wars? What? Oh my god, it's a bone. Get out of here. Go inside and think about what you- You're There is no inside! What do you mean there's no inside? What kind of ship are you running, Giovanni? <laughs> I should get some sheeps out. I'm gonna get some sheeps out. Yep. Okay. I'm excited to see this crit fail. You should roll more wild magic. I'm going to try and roll a, a snake oil potion to summon the rainbow octoclack, dear friends. Hey! You, 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 okay, you pour it on the phone. Hello! Were you looking for multiple octos? I summon the, he, the rainbow he was looking for the full friends. set. That's good oh, enough goodbye. for five of them. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, you do not control them, but you have five of them. <laughs> they are hello, 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 hello. Octoclacker! Oh. They all say in unison and clack. Oh my god. You can probably throw one octoclacker. Oh, that would be good. Throw the blue one because it's furthest in there. So I'll try oh. and throw it towards Naven. You throw it pretty well. Naven at first thinks you're trying to throw him something to bat again, but then he notices it's an octoclacker and he catches it. Hello! Okay. Hello! 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 Quinoa will fly. One, two, three. Four, five. Lady eyes the bird coming for him. <laughs> no, Quinoa, no, I have a mission. All right, Lenny's gonna keep on trucking. One, are you two, three. Are you trying four, to, uh. Five. Are you I trying know what to he's reach trying the controls? To I'm not telling you what I'm doing. Yeah, I am going for the controls, whatever. How yeah. you cover me? What are, what are you doing? I'm gonna mess with the controls. If the ship is crashing, they have to forfeit. I'm sorry, is your plan to crash the ship into the ocean to hope that they give up before we die? The ocean! Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I, I'm done interacting with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I have a secret technique that I use all the time to get away from my mom. Fog of lost souls! Giovanni's gonna try and lose his mom in the fog. Don't you run away from me with your soup steam. Well, you I'm do. doing that. He does so that. So bye. I'm tired of this. Math! I'm just gonna hit you. Molly's gonna try and stop that. Exactly a nine, which will stop it. But then Millie is gonna try and keep it going. A 13! <laughs> that that hits her for whatever it does. Eight. What does the guardian angle do? Nothing yet, you don't know. Okay. <laughs> Euclid works in mysterious ways, usually angular. And as Giovanni's turn ends, the lava expands to fill the entirety of the baseball diamond. All this wooden part is filled up. The octoclackers all go. Can I pick up the tuber adjacent to me? Not right now. It's not your turn. I mean, Sorry. it's picking them up. It's not a big effort. I know. Sorry. You'll probably roll a one and like hold it under. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of rolling a one, Agatha, are you going to attack? Oh my yes. god. I'm going to go over here and use and the cry. chalk wand. Yes! So that does get you another proficiency. You get this ability. Rounding up, any time action, once per round. Cause an object to float in midair, fly away, or be whipped at an enemy for damage can be used to interrupt an attack once per round. And that will do eight damage to Giovanni. My brain hasn't hurt this much since math class. Your brain isn't the only thing throbbing. <laughs> it's your dick. I can still see it. He's as red as his hair right now. The teammates are gonna go. Here, allow me to remove that. This one by Molly tries to pop the little thing off of her. <laughs> allow me to remove it. Which way do you push something to remove it? Pushes it into her face. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do damage because it's a nerf bullet, but it sure is unpleasant. This cannon top right. She would have noticed Howie destroying all their shit. She'll try and hit him. Nope, that's not good enough to hit Howie from that distance. This one is again going to try and throw something at Lenny, bottom left. Uh, that hits four damage. This one is going to run over and again attempt to throw something at Howie. It beans Howie in the back of the head for five. 
he doesn't seem to notice because he's wearing a hard hat. These two stand on the edge over here and block what might be an attack at Millie, and they turn towards Giovanni and go, Go! Go! Giovanni Voltas! <laughs> Thanks, guys! I can always count on you! Yes, we are indentured! <laughs> Wait, you indentured. have that word already programmed in? They don't respond. Uh, <laughs> Molly tries to remove this one. Uh, she ends up patting him, so he thinks he did a good job taking that thing off of her. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna go around you now. <laughs> the soldier blushes. Naven throws out apples to all of the octoclackers. Oh, 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 oh! That's good enough to have them not die immediately. Yeah! <laughs> They are all singed, but they get out of the lava. How he walks over, two birds with one stone. He picks up this guy and smashes him against the cannon. Oh, shit! <laughs> into Giovanni. <laughs> what? Batter up. <laughs> Smacks it. In. <laughs> it explodes 15 damage. Sylvie. I want to roll to have his mom try to get out of the fog and go to him. All right. Oh, no! I always yeah. know when my son is hurt. Come on, you're so dirty. Come take a bath. Come, no, mom! No, mom, no! <laughs> oh, it's lava. She dies, but he takes another seven damage. <laughs> this sheep is gonna move to Millie. Uh, these robots are specifically here to block the sheep, so they are gonna get an attack at them. Uh, that is good enough to do one damage. You want to take that for the sheep? Yep. <laughs> one, two to charge it. Uh, let's say this one on top. You steal another Giovanni 13. It does no damage, but pushes him back a square. Does Millie take any damage? Uh, yeah, she'll take two. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna try to put Millie to sleep. Millie's immune to sleep. Fuck! <laughs> she fluffs her hair. I'm a daydreamer. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five. Six. You really there. know how to ruin a date, kid. Okay. Yeah, I've been told I'm very awkward. Yes. Yes. Quentin, you now have an army. Rally to me, little octopuses. They rally. You know, might as well go full kamikaze here and keep using up this stamina. I'm gonna do a magical girl effect. Uh, <laughs> hang on, let me read it. All right, what are you doing with this potion? Uh, I think we're giving it to the octoclacker. <laughs> Target bursts into flame. You now have five flaming octoclackers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you brought them here to light them all on fire. Lenny. How hard can it be to fly one of these things? I mean, come on. It's just a big steering wheel. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Can I plastic bag him from here? Uh, That's going to be a hard shot. This is about six feet up off the ground. This is a ladder. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's I mean, here. you could double move him and begin talking to him. No, I did double move because I ended up down here and then I had oh. to fix it by going. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to like make your mistake of a full move. Just like go where you wanted to go the first time. You can double move up. You can start talking to him or something. You won't be able to attack. He's like, hey, hey, baseball guy, stop driving the ship. Hello. No. <laughs> His head just turns off. All, all right, well, around. I tried doing it the nice way, talking it out or whatever. Good job! Fuck that. <laughs> Giovanni. My mom burned to death in my own soup. That was weird. <laughs> God, I'm was just gonna kid's, go. It was this kid's weird dream thing. Don't worry about it. I'm sure your mom's still alive, and I'm sure she'll be a really good mom-in-law. <laughs> eh, he's going to use a dash of doom to get over to Millie and fuck up Sylvie. All right, this will be an interesting roll because he does have to run up there. Yes! yes! Oh, Giovanni! Giovanni! He sort of Iron Man's his hands behind himself, stands in a squat, and jets of very fast propulsion steam burst out, and he goes skidding around. And with a 13, this is a wall in front of him. He manages to get enough speed to go over here and bank off of this like it's a half pipe, slide up, do a flip over and land on Sylvie's sheep. There was still some lava on him. That's gonna drip on Sylvie for six. Right now, because he has Millie's passive, he gets double proficiency. So he is at 30, which does give him something. He has 
Oh shit, I forgot. Giovanni has passive defense I haven't been giving him. Uh, well now he has, three, he has three passive defense. And he also has another turn. He's, He's just three. gonna hit Sylvie with his back, cause stay away from Millie. Ten. Molly's gonna try again to downgrade that. Takes a little damage off, so it only hits for seven. Only seven. Well, it should be double that, because he's giant, so. Agatha. What's the range on rounding up? It's an anytime, so its range is infinite. I'm going to use that on one of the flaming clackers and right. hurl it at Giovanni. Which clacker? Well, it doesn't really matter, but the green which, one. Which clacker goes right off into the abyss? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he's still his guardian angel. angel. Yeah, I was about to move him. The guardian angel... Moves over. Oh, can I try to assist and rescue the Iron Hope Clacker? You can try, Quentin. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Finally, it's all paying off for Quentin. Saved! Just as the Octo Clacker <laughs> goes flying off, thinking, oh, the ocean below me, my home, <laughs> water that will douse the flames. He is brought back <laughs> as though from some cruel god. <laughs> Euclid looks on and cackles as this goes and tucks itself right into Giovanni's cape. The guardian angel is going to go over this way and try and heal both Agatha and Molly. Excuse nope. Me? I have six stamina. <laughs> you, you are not close enough. Literally everyone on the field looks bad right now except Howie. Mm -hmm. Millie, she is going to try and do something to this sheep. That is good enough. The sheep is now hers. The sheep is now giant. Millie feels bad. She's having a rough time. So, stealing from children, you feel proud about yourself? Get out of my store. I would! <laughs> I'm so kind of stuck here on this ship. I can fix that. She looks over at the edge. You know, I'm good. Three, four, five, six. Climbs up. Allow me to assist you. But this guy tries to put out the fires. He does. The clackers are saved. Except the green one. <laughs> <laughs> this one continues going after Howie. He bonks Howie. Howie turns around to go like, all right, I know you think you're doing your job, and I can respect that. But suddenly, a second one pops out of his mouth, which has a pitching cannon in it, and trips Howie backwards. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> and there he goes. Oops, Howie, no! should have no! saved Howie instead. Molly looks over and sees that. He'll be fine. Naven looks over and sees that. He'll be fine. Howie, no! I hope he's not he's fine! You hear screaming in the back. His collection of bees, like, raise him back up. This guy, top right, goes, It is my turn to act! Ah! He jumps down and attempts to land on Molly and catch her in a bear hug. Ah! Oh. Takes four damage. These two are going to attempt to help their captain get this out of his cuff. Oh, wow. they take it out. Little Octo Clacker, so much has happened. I, I know. Oh. I will join you. No. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, we replaced our missing team member. We can play in the finals again. Molly, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Actually, first, before she runs off, uh, she asks Naven for heals. He's going to heal two people this turn. Uh, okay, Molly gets healed for six, and uh, Quentin gets healed for three. Howie didn't move yet, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. He moved a bit. <laughs> He's moving a I mean, he moved now. vertically. One, two, three, four. I don't need a roll to climb up, because Millie didn't, right? No, you okay. can just climb. Five, six... Rapid guy movement. Is the doctor in? The doctor's in! Yeah! Quentin, it's your turn. Rally to me, little octopuses. <laughs> they hesitantly do. <laughs> Except that last one is like, oh, uh, should I go for the wild card? Yes! Okay. Soup them I'm up! I'm not good at anything else! I guess I'll drink it even if I fucking die. <laughs> Target begins narrating their internal <laughs> monologue like a film noir detective. <laughs> Yay. I knew there was something wrong with that potion the moment I put the bottle to my lips. It was all just a matter of time before I would start narrating. The little octoclackers were still charred from their recent episode of my last spell, whoops, and how he had fallen off the ship, but I was still a little hopeful. 
It was time to go after the rogue Giovanni. I never trusted that guy. Roll for bluff. I uh, never trusted that guy. I know her. Lenny, it's time. Lenny's big try. Lenny's gonna come over here right next to him. I'm gonna try to choo-choo train him off of the ship. <laughs> okay. Just to crashes into him and hopefully sends him flying. It'd be pretty hard to fuck this up. Don't say that. One inbound. He goes flying off the ship. I start looking over the controls, seeing what I have access to and like what I can do. Boy, does this look like a toy. Roll for familiarity with toy. This is a model you know pretty well. You're a little lucky. This is actually Kissy Crusaders brand. Oh, for, I You're embarrassingly my... familiar. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed by Kissy Crusaders. Shut up. Uh, the baseball turrets, uh, you now know from looking at the controls, one of them goes off every turn. Unfortunately, Howie destroyed the bottom right one, which is going on this turn. So you could try and like misfire one of the engines or something. You could probably make the lava go somewhere. You could try to do anything. Can I just like fuck up one of these guns perhaps? Or like make it fire? Yeah, you at? can blow one up. Let's blow up this big one in the top right, Seven. Uh, yeah, that'll blow it up. Hey, all right. It's Giovanni, Blade of Demise. Stop touching Millie. That's my job. Ew. Question mark? Whoa. Whoa. Boy, oh boy, do you smack now. that off into the distance. I'm going to try and pant Sylvie. There's a what? Minotaur ghost around him, but you can try. You just have enough in your mind to not pants a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. You're going to have to roll to climb up that. It's not stairs. Yeah, it's not. All right, well, you climb up it. Chalk one on Giovanni. Your guardian angle is gonna try and make that a little stronger. Not really, you still do four. We've uh, we've augmented the chalk wand to do five. Oh, thank you for reminding me. This thing will move over here, because that wasn't any time. Who really needs health? Sylvie really needs health. I have five HP. No <laughs> one attacking you is near you. <laughs> That'll give Sylvie three. Millie goes, oh, hey Molly. You like fluffy animals, right? Yeah, why? No. No. It sits on her. <laughs> <laughs> Millie hops down on top of it. She fires her wand at Giovanni and attempts to heal him. He gets four health. Molly's turn. <laughs> the sheep wibbles and wobbles and just dissipates and Millie falls down on her ass. <laughs> hey, jerk. Hey, jerk. She's gonna take two damage from that. Get, go away. She no. Puts her, oh, okay. Oh. Ew, why are you wet? It's literally soup. Haven walks over here and force feeds you pie. So there's no way this can fail. 10 health. Yay, <laughs> pie. Since I'm still above like Giovanni height wise because of this platform, can I just like stomp him or just double <laughs> hand pound him? Yeah. Okie dokie. I think it's time to use my legendary bunt. You guys both go for each other. Ah, ah, ah. No one takes any damage despite that thing being made of knives. Clinton. Me and the Octo gang were heading towards the center of the base. That Millie Dame had done enough damage. I ordered the Octo Clackers to surround this skeleton. Armed with an octoclacker skin, they would be an unstoppable clack clack clacking machine. Give me a roll for tentacle skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> there sure are wasn't... four octoclackers <laughs> on that skeleton. <laughs> I looked at my card deck and saw everything was a three or a four. <laughs> Baxter! Am I adjacent to the skeleton? Can Quinoa go in the skeleton as he is done? You with can it? fucking try. <laughs> Quinoa is in the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lenny. He's gonna try and turn the ship in a way to where everything kind of shifts this way. Just roll for pilot. Well. You blow up another cannon. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. I guess you have a move if you want to randomly oh. kick at a switch. <laughs> to have a wild magic effect occur on the ship. No, I'll just- Yes! Okay. Yes! Fine. 99. Oh! Oh boy. Well, the target is the ship. Uh, <laughs> permanently gain three proficiency. Good job, ship! Good job, ship. What's the ship's effort? <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni's looking real beat up. You're gonna try and step on my bat? I'm gonna show you who steps on my bat. You again, because I'm gonna hit you with it. Good one! Nailed it. 
spells! So hurts. You are both the same size now, so that only does seven. Molly will attempt again to stop it. She does. It does one damage. <clears throat> Giovanni's bat just like tinkles into knives. All right, Giovanni, still your turn. You don't have a bat anymore. Lava grenade! You try and smash soup into his face. Giovanni. Give me a more polarizing roll. <laughs> oh no! Can Nothing. I try to assist? Yes. Because if this counts as a crit, I think I just died. <laughs> Here uh, think... goes nothing! <laughs> Not good enough. Let's see. I think Molly has two, so maybe she can help. Molly can make that get hit by a dummy. Uh, more polarizing. More polarizing. More polarizing. <laughs> no, more polar- <laughs> Fuck! Alright, there we go. No, it doesn't work. I You're died. fucking dead. <laughs> Sylvie is slammed back. And uh, that is a crit, so that's double damage. You're so at negative three. All right, Agatha, that's your turn. Can I use Roundup on the pieces of Giovanni's uh, bat, like the knife pieces? Oh, you absolutely. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do that on Millie. Uh, you're whipping those at her? Wow, she has yes. less speed than I thought. How much does Giovanni's bat do? It's eight, right? <laughs> yes. It sure is eight! I, I would uh, argue that it wouldn't do the full eight because these are just the knives. All right, it'll do seven. They're just Millie knives. has one stamina. Gee, honey, I think we lost. Oh no, and after I did that really cool thing too. It was a really cool thing. Uh, it's Millie's turn. She does nothing. She has no HP. It is uh, the NPC's turn. He's had enough time to crawl all the way on the underside of the ship. How he appears top left on the engine. Yay! Mother loving son of a can even god damn it mother loving fuck I knew he had returned because of my assist I Shut patted up. myself on the back <laughs> How he aims this cannon and tries to hardwire it to fire at Giovanni it fires at Giovanni and does uh, seven damage with his defense all right. Giovanni doesn't look great. Molly also goes to walk over to Giovanni, and she tries to use dummy on him. Yeah, that'll make him small. I oh. Naven is going to try his hardest. He throws an apple up a few times to test his weight. I don't have a bat, but I'm going for it. He throws it up in the air, spins a pirouette, and attempts to knock the apple into Sylvie's mouth. Uh, that well, sure is not nice. good enough. Can you watch jokes on it? <laughs> <laughs> Man, they are they are done. My love, my love, come to me now. I'm... The lovers embraced each other like complete oh nerds that had just inconvenienced us. All I wanted was toys, and I had only planned to be in the toy store for five days, and this was watering <laughs> on one. I'm not done yet. The capers what do you we could want have. To get to Cry and soup came out of his eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that actually is happening. <laughs> it, it, uh, uh, let me just, he wipes his cape over his eyes. Take off that mask. Let me see what you really look like. <laughs> it's fucking Giovanni. <laughs> she cups his face. You're so beautiful. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. Giovanni. Our capers will not end today. We will ride into the distance on a murder-shaped motorcycle. And you'll be the best villain ever. And I'll be your right-hand lady. Millie Murder. Or Millie Potage. I'll be whatever you want. We'll figure it out. Together. And there's a big white flash. And all of you guys are sent back to the toy store area. You don't see Millie or Giovanni anywhere. They left a little note on the ground that says, We've run away to find love. Um, I'm going to try to use one man's trash, which is just <laughs> taking Straight items from my- in Sylvie's mouth. I have a special apple. Naven takes out a special apple. It's a perfect You spit apple. shine on this apple. Uh, uh. You know, I, I don't like when people see me do this. Hold on. He kind of like globbles some spit on it disgustingly. Like, ugh, God. All right. And he kind of like shines it in. All right. Here you go. Roll for spit. Hey. <laughs> you spit right you Sylvie's kidding. open mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it does heal him for three, I think. Again. Yeah, they, they nurse you back to health. Sorta. We don't need to roll more threes and fours. <laughs> oh, hello. Looks like you're back. She puts down a magazine. Oh, the door's open. Oh. I guess we can just leave then, huh? It's about 11 at night, so yeah, the class is over. Naven, is your driver still out there? Who? she'd better be. Otherwise, I'm going to have to walk home. That's Wrenched scary. Adventure? 
They hook arms. Hey, Naven, buddy boy, buddy boy, buddy pal. Hello, Yumi, how are you doing? She grabs him by the cuff. Not great. Oh, we went in the ocean and set an octoclacker on fire. <laughs> it's true. Have you ever heard of Giovanni Potage? Nope, let's go. She drags him out. <laughs> Goodbye, friends, it was nice meeting you. This is the worst day ever. I have to get up at six and it's midnight. I'm not going to get eight hours of sleep. Lenny reaches into his pouch and pulls out an especially fluffy, nice-looking bee toy and hands it to Howie. I still have one on my hat. He takes your Oops. bees and exchanges them for stamina. You each only have one, right? Yeah. It's not like a fluffy bee, like, collectible. It's like a bee toy that I had. He does had genuinely that. appreciate that. It's special he, bee. Allow me to assist. Oh, <laughs> no. You oh. have a good night's sleep because Quentin sings you a shitty lullaby. <laughs> Howie <laughs> passes out on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, Howie. He always falls asleep here if the lessons go too long. Don't tell him I told you that. So, yeah, sorry that happened. Really sorry that happened. Puts him on a bed of teddy bears. We can, like, get you guys store credit or something. <laughs> if you're okay with coming back. Okay, Naven would want me to be confident about this. Thanks for coming to the Blind Deaf Toy Emporium. We hope you had a satisfactory time browsing through our toys and our selection of wares. <laughs> if everything was not up to what you thought the snuff would be, up to snuff is the term, then here, here just take these coupons. Uh, she gives you me... about a hundred bucks each worth of coupons. Well, I'll definitely be using these. Well, that's nice, but uh, if, if we recall, there was a certain toy I wanted uh, before we go. Oh, yeah, hang on. Molly goes back here and, like, opens up a safe. The only toy I need is friendship. Quentin, how about one more wild magic for the road? Okay, just one more for my friends. I, I will also go to sleep. Oh! 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 <laughs> is this gonna be what's actually on the wild magic page? Because if it is... <laughs> what's your what's your epithet that level, Plaster? Uh, six. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So at maximum, Quentin could go back to what he was before he even came here. Oh my Quentin God. learned nothing and remembered nothing. Yeah. What's your epithet, Plaster? Like bizarre. Bizarre. Boop. Lenny looks at the new toy, mint in box, and smiles. You know, I'll always treasure this toy, but I'll treasure the memory of this adventure a whole lot more. It was, uh, it was fun, dangerous, and silly, but overall pretty fun. Best adventure I've ever been on. He puts up a new review. It's like, come on down and visit. You'll never forget it. Trust me. <laughs> I almost Signed, did. Lenny Baxter. Expert Attach his video he has of Giovanni dancing on top. <laughs> Sorry Giovanni hit you in the face with knives, Sylvie. That doesn't usually happen at the toy store. It's <sighs> fine. I, it's, I got what I needed. I know the necklace isn't here with Giovanni. Well, I'm really tired. And it's, it's late and it's a long walk home. Do you just want to have a sleepover on all these teddy bears? I call that sounds the absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the oh, I was yeah, just talking. You know, I hang out. Quentin I... climbs on top of the shelf. It's like a bunk bed. Yeah. Well, I didn't get exactly what I came here for today, but I did see my least favorite student get the shit beat out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I've, satiated, I've satiated my lust for children's pain today. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hooray, we're done. Oh, that only took lot, seven lot hours. Of... I think you guys did absolutely everything. There's not even a breakdown I need to do. Did they you... get all the bees? I think you did. You guys do get bonuses. Five stamina or three proficiency. I mean proficiency. Whoops. <laughs> Quentin, you get bird of prey. Quinoa gains either plus one attack or plus two range. Oh, I like range. Plus two movement. I'm going to take the three proficiency, which puts me at 38. This is your new ability. May upgrade a sheep to a ram. Rams do four damage at five independent stamina. You can still take it. Yay! Is that uh, an ability or just an upgrade to dream a little dream? It's an upgrade to dream a little dream. And I should upgrade Molly. She's going to take proficiency because she wants to be able to knock Millie down further. Oh, she got a good ability. I won't tell you what it is. You're at 20, so I, get I, this. Hey, Keen, do you want five stamina or three proficiency? Three proficiency. 
plus one damage to your fanny pack. I really thought I was dead. I'm glad you used the D&D &D rules of you got to get up to constitution. You course. would have to get like six ones in a row to actually die in anime campaign. Okay. Uh, Chris, I'm sorry you had such garbage rolls for your first <laughs> no. game. Yeah. For sorry, Chris. Chris. I was hoping to hear her theme more. Everyone rolled so bad the whole game. And that is the end of Monkey Toy Audience. Uh, hello, in case it's not immediately evident from the uptick in mic quality, this is Modern Day Jello talking to you from the modern day. Uh, I, I think Plaster did the best of anyone in this campaign. I think she's hilarious. And she's also the composer for Epithet Erased and my sibling. And she just spent like two months working on this song called Dragon Song and animating it, like an old 2009 Vocaloid style MV. And uh, she's pretty bummed that it's not doing very well. So it would mean a lot if you could click through and check that out. I'll put it up on the end card. You should click it. It's like two minutes long. You just watch this thing, it's like four hours long. You just watch two minutes. Do Plaster a favor. Uh, thanks for watching these. If you watched both of them, uh, I hope if nothing else, you found them interesting, weird little artifacts. Uh, I also hope you understand why I'm kind of embarrassed to let people see these because, I mean, if you read Prison of Plastic and you came back and saw this for the first time, like, you, you get it, right? You can see the downtick in quality. And, like, keep in mind, you're watching the four-hour version that I trimmed down for you. This video was eight hours long when I got it, so, uh, I, I'm doing you so many favors, and... Uh, yeah, again, if you are one of the people who really did hear that I didn't want people seeking out anime campaign and you waited all this time and this is your first exposure to it, thank you so much. Hope you keep doing that. Um, in case it's not clear, we have all the files for the rest of anime campaign. We're not going to be doing this for any more of them until the equivalent books are out. So Prison of Plastic is out uh, to some degree. You can listen to the audiobook on Sound Booth Theater. I think it's really, really good. And it's 10 hours long, uh, and it's great. And uh, because that's out, you can see this, Monkey Toy Audience. When the next book, currently working title Sweet Escape is out, then we can show you episode three of Anime Campaign, and it's gonna go on like that. Once again, three has a big spoiler, four is all spoiler the entire time, and I think it will ruin the book. So I hope you don't check that out, but you know, Warning given, you know the deal. Um, for those of you who are interested in the more intensive, nitty-gritty TTRPG stuff, uh, I'd love to talk about that. In fact, I actually sat down and started recording this. This is my second time doing this. And I talked for 40 minutes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do what I did last time and put all the character sheets and notes on them and how I would redesign them for the Epithet system. I'm going to take all that and put it on Patreon. Uh, and in addition to that, I'm just gonna record myself talking about this adventure. I put a lot of notes in the little tool tips, but, um, I mean, th there's only so much space on those. I can't really talk as much as I'd like to. There's not as much fidelity. Uh, and I have a lot to say about this one, even though I like it more than the first adventure, by a pretty wide margin, actually. So, if you're interested in that, check, uh, check out the Patreon. I'll put a link in the descripto. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on here for a second, so you can click that. Okay, that should be good, bye.